Hello there. Come closer out of the dark and sit around my campfire, why not? My name is of no great importance, but the stories I have to tell you are... Witness, four lost souls journeying together through a grim world of perilous adventure. Be warned, though. The stories are not for the faint-hearted, and once you have heard them, you cannot unheard them. Bear witness to the Vagabond Chronicles. Bazangs Bazinga? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that went really wrong. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna start with it. I always say, hey, hello, <laughs> hi. And uh, I was gonna start with something new and it really I just it was so last minute, it just it came out Bazinga. of the top of my head. Bazinga or something. Which I'm pretty sure is probably like <laughs> probably like copywritten or something. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but anyway, our usual start notwithstanding. Hi! I think I should stay with that, right? Right. Yeah, I like the hi. <laughs> stay with the hi. Hi! It's very no, no, it's funny. It's, it's funny very Very good. <laughs> uh, just for a quick question. Um, <laughs> how loud are we all today? Because I always seem to get it slightly wrong. Um, I think we're loud enough, right? I'm definitely projecting from my diaphragm in a way that... Only, only me, 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 me. me, not you, 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 but me, 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 me. Okay, good. We're all, we're all happy and fine. I think. Um, so if anyone in the chat is like deafened by us, sorry, but you know that's the way we roll. Um, hi, uh, hello. It's great to be back. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, we had. Well, not sorry. We all had a bit of time out, which I think we need every now and again. Um, so. Um, uh, yeah, let's say hello to everybody. Who, who else is in the room? Who's who's actually turned up on time? Jim? Ah, there's the question. Jim, are you here? Oh, I'm here. Jim, you made it. No, not Jim, me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to let you down, guys. It's me, pretending to be Jim. <laughs> All right, so let's go around the room, the virtual room, the metaphorical, metaphysical room, and say hi to our players, the stars of the show. Uh, who's here? And I don't know. Sound off as, as if you got if you got a pair. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. I never really had the purpose. I've got. I've got. I've got one, not a pair. Does that mean I go last? So what are we talking about? Mortgages. Mortgages is what we're talking about, of course. Okay. I pushed the the wrong button. I'm sorry. Steve getting down with the millennials there with his mortgage. Yeah. ah. Yeah. I'm fresh and funky. What? Is that like all you've got? Like, <laughs> hi, I'm Steve. It's like, should I? And I'm fresh and funky. Okay, that's all right. You know what? You know what? Fair enough. I messed up the intro. Why should? Why should you have to like take we the fall? No, for we that? normally we normally go in initiative order. I was waiting for Uncle Pete to. Uh, I know. I, I, I pushed. Yeah, I pushed the Uncle disconnect Pete. button for no reason. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm happy. Steve, 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 with his proverbial right so so far so far doing great and keeping up our usual standards which i'm loving it um so who else in the room so hi pete you're here right Uh, yes i am i'm back how are we doing Mm. Uh, i'm pete i'm playing who am i playing i'm teddy wheat pasture i am a little half moon burglar i'm everyone's favorite little character and i'm up to mischief as usual i'm a secret and mysterious past and future cool so you are a resident (laughs) thief uh, I'll have to point this out in the game. We usually do this in the game. I was going to kind of keep it to, Hi, I'm Pete. I'm a real human being and a real boy. And I like, f- I don't know what you like anymore. It's been a while since I've seen you. like fishing and surfing and uh, shit because you're in Australia. No fishing, no fishing. No, no, don't do fishing. <laughs> what else that is, is okay. horrendously generalist. Not all Australians yeah. have fished and stuff. I would take a consensus that a lot of them have fished at one point in their life. Mm. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I, we, you like barbecues? And yeah, like shrimp. you like barbecues, and shrimp and stuff. Barbecue fish. Uh, yeah. Barbecue Beer fish. And... There you go. <laughs> uh, That's right. Sheilas. And... Uh, what's a sheila? It's like a kangaroo. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, sure. No, let's go with that. She, she is a marsupial, yeah, but it's based, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Good. So, do you know what? Have you heard of drop bears where you put marmite under your armpits to keep them away? Excuse me, what? <laughs> what the yeah, fuck yeah, are you yeah, talking yeah. about, dude? If it was in Australia, you'd bet you'd not us. Okay, it, it, moving it, forward. It, Hi, it, Tom! Hi, it's not my go yet. But I don't fucking now. care, please save this. The Australian, talk. the Australian talk was driving me mad. Okay. Um, this is the last no. time I let you you boys go first, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm taking like control of this. I'm going to talk about the world, I'm going to talk about the community, because they're important. And then, when we get to the game stuff, you guys get to talk. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm putting my foot down. This is hey, my. This hey, is this. I was going to talk now and say foot. stuff. I was going to say stuff and be be interesting, but you know, I don't feel like it anymore. No. I feel like we should like. Tell... Should we start again? Hi, folks. <laughs> oh no, no. no. All right. So, no. Tom, that's Tom. He plays Rattigan. Uh, we are missing. Think... Sorry. Neil, are you just going to talk for everyone? Yeah, Absolutely, because I, I need to steer this ship. We're iceberg ahead, man. No, you're, stealing it. you're steering it into the iceberg. Like, <laughs> as we, uh... I think there's more than one iceberg. I think we can all agree fact, on I that. I think the iceberg and light entertainment is a whole fleet of ships that we're crushing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Channel, destroying people's fun. That's okay, good. Doing. So now that we've established that, um, Tom, please do continue very quickly and then we shall move on to our last player. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Tom. I play Ratigan, who is a hedge wizard. Um, uh, I, I've done the whole thing about how he actually grew up in a hedge a lot of times, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, anyway, I know magic. I sort of do magic accidentally um, uh, by sort of sneezing it, uh, occasionally burping it. Occasionally, unfortunately, farting it. But, you're a, yeah. you're intuitive wizard, really, aren't you? You're sort of like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You sort I of have... accidentally do magic, and it sort of works out for you somehow. And I have recently acquired two awesome uh, ferrets by the names of Noodle and Spidge, who are uh, able with my magic in in certain awesome ways. One of them can charge my magic up for me, and the other one um, loads my spell ingredients. Um, I believe we had a consensus last time, Tom, that it was Mr. Spidge? <laughs> Mr. Spidge? I believe that was the general feeling that the... And listen, you know, power to the people, but I believe the people demand Mr. Spidge. Spidge if you're French. Is it kind of like Mr. Pib? A little bit. Um, <laughs> a little bit like that. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, Spidge oh, if you're I, a close uh, friend, I guess. It's Mr. Spidge, but, but Spidge to his friends. Exactly. Basically. I think that's where um, we can compromise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's me, really. I, I wear my character, Ratigan, he wears a bathrobe. I, I do not wear a bathrobe all the time, but he does because he thinks it's a cool wizard robe. Yeah. Uh, that's an important note. And, and, and that's it, really. So cool. on to Stevie. Yes, yeah, so let's go back to Steve, because I feel you didn't really give us enough the first time around. In fact, I was actually going to, like, insist that you actually go again. Hi, Steve! Give us more. Give us more. Hi, everybody. I am... Dr. Steve. Steve. Yes, Dr. Steve Esquire. Um, I, um, yeah, I'm Steve, as has been said, and I am playing a character called Siegfried Hauptmann, who is a very young man. He's only 17, bless him. And whereas most of the characters in the old world struggle against the forces of chaos and orcs, he is struggling against the forces of a lack of civility um, and a lack of punctuality. <laughs> which is and puberty. Struggling. Well, he's done a bit of puberty. He's, he's, he's going to come Yeah, but back he's struggling, he's right? Puberty. Yeah, he's struggling. <laughs> yeah. But he's, he's been doing a lot of working out recently. He's, he's been lifting some weights and uh, that sort of thing, getting ripped. Um, and, <laughs> I, see, yeah, I see where you did that. Yeah, he's... Uh, <laughs> that's right. Sorry, I went on a strength advance. Um, and, yeah, he's, uh, yeah he's, he's not very fun at a party, but he's very efficient um, and competent right, and yeah. capable. And no fun at all. And that's um, yeah. He's a he's a squire. I should probably mention a fighting squire. He's a fighting uh, squire, like a, squire. kind of like a, a knight in training kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. He's he's, he's done that. And he sort of that's what he did. And now he's now he's sort of um, he, well, he, he was a mounted squire, but um, <laughs> really, that's right. You had to you had to kill your best friend. <laughs> Or watch him, watch, him. watch him die or something. Neil, Neil can you turn your levels down a bit? You're a bit louder than everyone else. That may be um, just yeah. my natural projection, but yes, I should say. <laughs> no, no. 
Neil did that on How, purpose. How's this? How's my natural projection now for you? Talking That's better. Low That's register. better. You were actually blowing out a bit. Really? Um, yeah, the top end was. Yeah, it was a bit Not on my editing stream, I wasn't said, but that's okay. Oh, I shall take you under advisement. Well, make us more powerful. I'm going to put it higher. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's all right. I've, I've turned it down. I've turned it down. I can't actually hear myself. So I have no idea how loud it is. Back right. off the mic. Back off the mic. Um, okay, cool. And uh, thank you very much for doing a civil and uh, adult introduction, Dr. Steve. Um, bless you for that. Um, so it brings us on to our fourth contestant uh, player, um, Jim. I didn't realise this was a competition. <laughs> In my head, it might be. <laughs> it might be a competition. Four pieces enter, one PC leaves. Thunderdome rules. That's right. Thunderdome rules. Who can make Neil giggle like a schoolchild? That's the game. Um, so uh... you dump us as a friend. Is that? Is it like? What? That, oh, look, that would be brutal. Yeah, it's kind of a bit like that. Um, now I've just got word that Jim has literally, Jim has literally broken every law on the road to get back in time to start this. He has been celebrating. Can we have to talk about his like celebrating stuff? Can we celebrate that? I don't know. Let's let him well, tell you. Hold on. You you made me have a happy birthday song. Where was your happy yeah. birthday song? Where's Jim? What do you mean? Birthday My song? birthday? Oh, stop. Shucks. Really? A happy birthday song? That'd <laughs> no. be great. That'd be nice. Thanks for remembering everybody. But that's well, cool. But it's Jim's yeah, birthday this weekend. So I sent you a WhatsApp. What do you, you want? You did send me a WhatsApp. You were the only one. <laughs> send me a WhatsApp. Um, I remember because it's the day that Elvis died every year. It, exactly. is, it is the day Elvis died. Okay, so, uh, so, yeah, so everybody, um, I just want to say, um, Jim is winging his way electronically right now. He's literally, I just got a photo of him sitting, sweating quite profusely from the running of the car to the house. He's now in the house at the computer getting ready to join us, which is just Rapidly super booting awesome. everything up. He's literally booting um, it with his boot. He's actually, there's a picture of him kicking, like, <laughs> kicking yeah. like the desktop to try and get in yeah. there, so, which is cool. Um, so I guess in the meantime, I just want to say, uh, let's talk about the community. Huge thanks to the community, by the way, on a personal note, for um, sending me loads of birthday love and wishes and all that kind of stuff. And uh, and there's also apparently packages at my agents, which I haven't been able to get to. So anybody that sent me something through, thank you so much. I will be picking it up this week. I'm sorry I haven't even vaguely talked about it because I didn't know about it until like yesterday or something. Um, I what, you've got an up. agent? What, what does your agent do? Fuck you, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, how long have you fucking known me? Like, you, 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 start, you, you knew me at school, man. You see my entire career, like... I you, know, I know. Dude, I, I, I have just seen your entire week. career. I do have uh, agent, a couple of agents uh, and stuff. Um, they, they are I me imagine it's like... The like like Joey's agent at Friends, if you remember her. <laughs> actually, it's just... Smoking it's, a, it's actually just me. Like, I pretend to be my own agents. And that's, that's how I get gig. Like, hey, you, uh, you gotta see this new kid I got. Uh, he's great. Uh, he does everything. He uh, does the uh, ukulele. Uh, he can juggle. Uh, he's fantastic. He's his own hair. He's brilliant. No, I don't. My agents are hardworking. They're fantastic. They're great. And they get me work. So, so I'm cool. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Jim. But, hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. Ah. Okay, Jim, we stalled. We actually fucked. I deliberately <laughs> fucked up the I intro. You. I yeah, deliberately you. fucked up the intro to get you here on time. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for coming through in the end. No, but thank you. No, it's you been are a, welcome. In an adventure, I've been in South London again. So I've been in South London. So happy birthday to Jim. Um, you, and I think it's Wednesday. Uh, it's all good. Birthday. That's all we're gonna get, Jim. That's all we're gonna get. You're late. <laughs> You were late. You just get one, one couple of bars. That's it. We haven't got time. All you get is just you. You. All we're gonna get is actually. No, we're gonna get is Jim. That's it. That's like all we're gonna get is for the happy birthday thing. Uh, but happy birthday for Wednesday, so whenever it Thank is. Thank you kindly. You're very welcome. Um, <clears throat> so Jim, we need to know about you and your character, man. Now that you busted your way into this thing. Yeah, introduce yourself. Introduce yourself, dude. <laughs> Right, my name is Jim. I'm an IT engineer from Essex. I play a gnome pharmacist called Bondo, who craves adventure <coughs> and wants to be like his great hero, Mac Iver. Mac Iver, I like that. That's now canon. Have fun, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Mac Iver. Mac Iver is a dwarf. Um, yes, and with he's a, dwar a dwarf engineer 
who uh, who legend has it, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. But it's a legend about him that we'll find out, I guess, now sometime in your story. Um, yes. So, yeah, Mac Iver. Um, anybody over the age of 30 should get that reference. Nope, nobody? Uh, it okay, was re- no, 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 it was redone. It's, it's, it's on TV at the moment. It's redone? Wait, yeah, we rebooted. Okay, I know we're a bit late starting, but what the fuck? They've redone Mac- MacGyver? Yeah, yeah. Havoc, Havoc from X-Men plays him, I think. No, really? Uh, no. That's a sort of good looking MacGyver this time. But so not Richard Dean Anderson, Craggy Daddy vibe. I did quite like no. I did quite like Richard Dean Anderson. Craggy Daddy. Craggy Daddy. Alright. Um so, <laughs> so, so, now, craggy daddy. so now that you're in <laughs> So now so now that you're in, dude. <laughs> Now that you're in, thank you very much. Uh, just a quick thing: all of us are he, him. Uh, we we support, you know, uh, obviously using the right pronouns for everybody. Um, so he, him for all of us. Um, quickly moving on to the community, who are awesome and still with us. Uh, it's it's weird. It's like I always every week. It's like it's like birthday parties when you organise it last minute. You think no one's going to turn up. I'm just literally going to stand here. Then I then the day afterwards I have to. Everybody that asked me how did it go because they didn't turn up, I have to say, oh, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Loads of people. Um, so I want to say thank you so much to the community for sticking with us, for growing with us, and for having a good time. Um, we've also got a couple of uh, VIPs to be making. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw those out as people are chatting. But um, does anybody want to, like, the, the lads, I would say, um, do you want to talk about anything for the community and what's going on? We've got some new stuff. Um, well... Two things. Well, firstly, you should also just say hi to Yogo, who is, as per usual, our amazing... Yeah, um, Yogo. Thanks to uh, them. Hi, hey, Yogo. And uh, so thanks, Yogo. And um, well, so do you want to do... You want to do... Uh, do you want to do new uh, people first? Or, or, I mean, I can... The only other big announcement is that we do have now a Twitter... Some of you will have seen we've got a Twitter uh, account now, which is, uh, I'm totally forgotten. It's Vagabond Chronic, <laughs> isn't it? It's, um, yeah, it's Vagabond Chronic, <laughs> like, at Vagabond um, Way, so way to rehearse it, there, folks. Way to rehearse. Shall we share the link on another platform or on the... Let's make Switch it as complicated maybe? as possible, folks. <laughs> Let's, do down there. Let's do ourselves proud. Let's do it. We're idiots. Anyway, it's at Bogabon Cron. Um, if you follow, uh, if you follow it, we will definitely follow you back. Yoko has just shared it out. Thank you, Yoko. Thank you, Yoko. You're Amazing. awesome. And Ori Kate just totally followed us. Uh, just there, then live. Thank you very much, Ori Kate. <laughs> uh, it's as simple as that, folks. Um, uh, anyway, that's that's all for now. We also have got a, a new Gmail address for communications and stuff like that. But we'll get into that when we need it. Um, Indeed, yeah. That's yeah. it. So, <laughs> should we do new sub sub speak? We have. We've just we've just made a whole bunch of people VIPs. Um, thank you very much um, for hanging out with us and for uh, again the, the huge number of people that are just doing subs and gift subs, which is extraordinary. Um, we really appreciate the fact that you're trying to help us build the community. The community, by the way, is not built by us. Like we don't have a hand in that. It's you lot, you you folks, all build the community. So um, we're just happy that you find this vaguely entertaining uh, on your Sunday evenings <laughs> or mornings or days, or as we discussed last week, the future next year, where Trump has killed himself by flying into an alien spaceship. If you don't understand the reference, it's probably good to watch the last episode on the YouTube channel. By the way, there's a YouTube channel. We have a YouTube. Which which I think is Neil Newborn. I think. <laughs> Again, I need to investigate that yoga help. Um, but there is the whole, all of the episodes help from. Me, tra- you're only <laughs> help me, Yoko. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Help me, Yoko. You're more. Yeah. I'm so going to get my layer costume, which I don't oh, have, but I'm going to make out. now. And I'm going to do that later. Oh, right. Slave would, Girl Neil. No, not Slave Girl Neil, which would be awesome. And I do have the legs for it. But, you know, classic layer. It's true. Thank you very much. It does. Wrong with you, please. Um, <laughs> Slave girl is now. In, As the, we were talking about earlier, did you shave your legs then, Neil? I don't shave my legs, but if I did, they look okay. fucking great. So you know, back <laughs> off, man. My legs are good. I've got good legs, dude. I'm not like happy with many things in my body, but my legs, I'm good at. Good at. Okay. I'm happy with. Happy. I think we should do a whole. Yeah. I think we should do a whole Twitch broadcast where Neil just 
talks about how good his legs are. Yeah, I can do that. You, that that sounds like a challenge. I could do that in intricate detail. <laughs> about how great my you legs are. Moving <laughs> <laughs> yeah. down to the left Okay, the fuck you guys. We're moving forward. So let's get onto the Still game football. thing. We are, now, we are now in the game because it's like... Holy shit, this is... Oh, 22 minutes? Oh, my God. All right, so this is literally the worst we've ever done this. Um, I've, I've always imagined you oh, as Prince Dyer in your Endor Scout outfit, actually. You know, that oh, that? Oh, Endor yeah, layer. Uh, yeah, man, yeah, man. Exactly, exactly, when she's stalking along with a pistol, yeah. that's the sort of layer. I've, when I imagine you as Princess Leia, Neil, which I do sometimes... Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't see right now my chest is blushing it means i like you steve um, so, so yeah okay so, you like your hair as well? I don't know. so i'm curling the my my shaved head yeah all right i'm shaving the sides in the back dude i got a little top thing going all right so the other way around so i'm gonna i'm gonna quickly show so here we have our here we have our, our heroes we have oh, ratigan yeah. over here all right here isn't yeah, it is. Here we have Ratkin, our hedge wizard. We all have over over here Ziggy Hopman, Corporal Ziggy Hopman. He didn't spend uh, three weeks at training boot training camp to become Mister. Thank you very much. Uh, we have Bondo over here, third person speaks to himself gnome, and we have this tiny, tiny, tiny little creature, this halfling thief, who's so fucking London. Um, is uh, is Teddy Wheat pasture? So, so, so fucking London. So he folks. Since the last time I saw him, he was up to my sort of mid. Now he's sort of he's tiny, isn't he? I say, yeah. I'm four he's... foot. I'm Bondo is smaller than me. I'm pretty sure. That I, don't, me I don't know. I think it would just. Yeah, I, think, I think that's true. The gnomes are smaller than half. I think we're just going in social status amongst the party. Ooh. Representative oh. thereof is what I'm thinking. There you go. All right. So, so you guys need to allow me to do my thing because you're like you're zenning me out right now. Okay. So, um, this is just thinking about this is the old world. So, if we look over here on the left hand side, this is the entire world, the whole world map. Um, it resembles, if you notice, kind of our real world. This is Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. We're using first edition, the <laughs> best edition, first edition uh, from our childhoods with some aug slightly augmented rules. But we find it's, it's one of the more fun versions, I think. Um, from this, we're then going to um, have a look at the world itself. If you notice, this little square here is where the bigger map is. This is very reminiscent of our modern day, or rather medieval and Renaissance Reformation period, Europe. Uh, and that's kind of where this world is sort of set but with a lot of um, a lot of sort of like steam engines, like magic, obviously things like orcs and goblins and halflings and elves and dwarves and all kinds of stuff. But it kind of has a lot of similar parallels to it, which is kind of cool and quite useful. Um, we are focusing ourselves on this little area. Uh, where is it gone? The, the, the Darklands and all the here. So the empire. This is the empire over here with my little my little things moving around. And underneath it is the border princess. So if we go back to the main map, I can show you. Um, so here is the border princess down there, which is a very rough kind of like wildlands area, which has got a lot of human activity, some dwarf activity, but also in the badlands down there, there are orcs and goblins and all kinds of horrible creatures uh, trying to retake this area. It's constantly in war. The empire, which is a lot more civilized, but still has its issues, is to the further north of these mountain range called the Black Mountains. There's the Grey Mountains, which intersect that. Um, so our heroes, um, cutting it a very long story short, eight fucking chapters to finish the tutorial, I'm just saying. Um, so we, they have joined a, uh, a wagon, uh, a, a wagon train under the, the non-IP Sinter class, who was a wagon master <laughs> and also a philanthropist who went around all the villages giving out wealth and supporting local places by giving out a lot of charity. Um, they investigated the village and they found out that his wife, Veronica, class is actually a spider spider controlling cultist of some dark god and has actually set this whole thing up to be some kind of crazy sacrifice she's also in the cahoots of this big this big burly big burly sexy golem creature she's actually an ogre he's not a golem but anyway um called uh goodrag sorry goodrick no goodrick um excuse me goodrick goodrick ball ripper who is the leader of seemingly a very large orc and goblin horde and is in somehow cahoots with uh veronica also it seems um Sinterklaas was attacked his, his wagon train was attacked lots of things happened soup was was put into hair um Oh yeah, something about war penguins, which I really regret giving you folks. 
You now have I all the penguins. I know, I do too, but it's just, this is a Grim World of Perilous Adventure, Tom, and I feel like I betrayed the spirit of it. But chaos, chaos <laughs> can manifest in lots of different ways. Mm. You know, and in this case, <laughs> penguin. Fucking war penguins, Tom. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so uh, <laughs> so we had a moment of that. We also found out that Tom's character has this funky birthmark on a buttock that I still will not be told by Tom which buttock it is, and that infuriates me, Tom. It infuriates yeah, me no. a great deal, as I'm sure it does to all of our listeners. Uh, but there's a buttock, there's a buttock with a tattoo somewhere in Tom's body, <laughs> and this has marked him out to be somehow special with the god Tar. We don't know how. Uh, we also found out last um, week or two weeks ago, whenever it was, um, that uh, Sinter Class also has the same concurring tattoo on his shoulder. Um, he um, they had a last ditch attempt. Many mortars and cannons were used and repeating crossbows and orcs died and goblins died and hilarity ensued um and uh the very last thing we saw was Sinterklaas giving a knowing wink um to tom and tom has issues no, sorry tom uh to ratigan ratty has a lot of issues with winks like if you know if you had listened to the shows he doesn't really know what winks mean they could be in a whole different bunch of things so he's still working that one out um and then Sinterklaas um grabbed the barrel a, a, a barrel of gunpowder, in fact, lit it with a, a fuse that was sticking out and charged the bull ripper and uh, jumped in the air and threw this thing at him. And the last thing you heard was, Ho, 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 motherfucker! And the, this huge explosion washed straight through them. And that was the last thing we did, I believe. Oh, by the way, yeah. Steve, you did a whole thing, crazy thing, where your character, like, shot a whole bunch of monsters and not a single person saw. Uh, yeah, we all was, kept following the other way whenever yeah. you did something. Cool. That's the yeah. thing. That's like a thing. It is a thing, unfortunately. You magically miss it all. I feel exhausted. I think I'm done now. I'm good. Yeah. I think I'm good. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right. So, that's what happened last week, uh, Steve. I thought I just did that for you, and everybody else is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. That's what you happened to do, Steve. These bad guys. Yeah together synchronously are they like britney spears backing dancers mm. <laughs> imagine that but then cross cross bread with an orc if you if you sped it up they'd be like toxic oh my god <laughs> they are actually <laughs> synchronicity <laughs> look at that and you know that i'm toxic oh we're getting... <laughs> <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right we are spending far are too much time watching that, that pull madonna's cloak <laughs> off <laughs> wow. Okay, I didn't know they did that. Now that's really weird, but I think we have to live no, with it, folks. Give, let's give them a fire source. And get... Oh my god, I, look, I drew over Sad Neil. Shit. Uh, I'm just going to remove the red, though, can't you? Oh, thank god. All right. Oh, thank god. Sad Neil. This is Sad Neil. Anybody who doesn't know, again, folks, look, go back over and it's just too tiresome to keep going through it. This is the explosion that happened. Um, I think we should sort of dive straight back into it, folks. We hey, have... we have sad Neil, on their sad Neil badges now. On the... Thank oh, you, Tom. Be. Thank you very much. Hopefully there are indeed badges. sad Neil badges for attendance. Um, <laughs> anybody that is, <laughs> there are. No, I think they I think they relate to the tier system. So, if anybody that is subbing, um, I think after or like, following, I don't know how that works actually. So. Chat, you tell me because I really don't know. Um, but basically, it's like an attendance thing. So every few months, you get like a new badge. And the first one, I believe, is the blue sad Neil. Um, so sad Neil is now really is now a thing. I like sad Neil a lot. I don't. I shouldn't because I drew it, and that's like really egocentric. But I yeah, really like. Yeah, but it's like... good though. It's good, isn't it's it? Politics. Look at that. Should we spend like half an hour just looking at it? I I draw some of the mouse is not easy. easy. You also do a ma an angry Neil. At some point, please. I'll try, but it won't be anywhere as near as good because I'll be thinking about it too much. Let's have a look at Noodle and Mr. Spidge. There you go. That's Noodle <laughs> and Mr. Spidge, the ferrets that live in Tom's pocket. I've left Tom's yeah. face blank so he can fill it in himself. All right, so um, let's get back into it. Why not? Uh, we have uh, in the sleigh wagon, which is bristling with military weapons, of which none of you know quite how that, that, that is, but apparently it's a military upgraded wagon. We have this person over here, which is Vixen who is a mercenary type. Uh, she's an elf, and she's incredibly tough, and has already taken a, a mortal wound and somehow survived with the help of Ratigan giving her a Morecambe and Wise pat on the cheek. That's how he does healing magic. Over here oh, we have um, Prancer, 
who is a dancer and bowman, and he's one of the most beautiful creatures to ever glean and walk this planet. We have over here uh, Dr. Dasher, um, who is a medic and a herbalist who's now manning a cannon, but badly, because I think Pete rolled last time and didn't do a very good job of it. And then we have Blitzen over here. Oh, Jim, do you no, have access? You were in the mortar, but you were throwing bombs like willy nilly and stuff, weren't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you also rolled for Dasher and did a very bad job. Um, no judgment, but it wasn't good. Um, <laughs> so, so, so we also have Blitzen over here, who's a fan favorite. Ha ha. Um, we have also these two war penguins. <sighs> so, <laughs> so, so there we are, folks. We're back in the action. This explosion has happened. It's washed over you. We're going to go straight into initiative because we are deeply in combat. We are knee deep in in sexy combat. Um, Teddy, it's your go, sir. I'm Most just going to take a break. I'm going to go in my hammock and just. I don't have a hammock, but my metaphorical. Can you tell hammock. us what happened in the aftermath of this massive explosion. Like, is Santa Claus now just? A pair of stumpy legs. Well, look at this. Look at this. I accidentally dropped it, and it's now captured as if he's in an explosion. That was that was not by design. That's just fucking cool. Look at that. Boom. So if I do this, yeah. boom. Okay. So okay, fine. I'll 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 GM if you really want me to, Games Master. Do some GM. All right, all right, all right. Um, <laughs> so Surely he's a greasy red mist, isn't he? Yeah. So the explosion <laughs> happens. This greasy. huge massive. <laughs> Do you want to listen to my games? You asked for it, man. You know, it's not like I'm, I don't have to do this. I can just sit and drink my danger drink. I'm just quite happy to let you talk. Yes, Steve. Is it our time? <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I please do my job? Thank you. All right, so games mastering. Uh, this huge explosion happens. Um, it's, it, the, the light almost blinds you. In fact, most of you look away in time. But it's a blinding light that, uh, that literally pierces... Um, uh, the, the fiber washes over you, the heat from the fire. Uh, you almost think nothing could withstand uh, such a terrible uh, inferno. Uh, and as quickly as it starts, it's over. And it's the flash is over. And you, you sort of manage to kind of blink very hard, wipe your eyes, and your, your sight comes back almost instantly. And um, those of you that are looking up, you see um, Sinterklaas lying on the ground. And he is just, uh, he's not moving. Um, and they, he's smoking. There's a whole bunch of like, the smoke from his clothes and from his back, and he's just lying on the ground. Um, opposite him is the huge form of this massive behemoth um, that's also been knocked back, smashing into this wagon over here. Um, the orcs and that were surrounding, um, but not fighting, they were allowing these two combatants to face off in some kind of like ghastly equivalent of a duel, um, sort of have also sort of like been stunned into inaction. Uh, the ones over here were blown off their feet um, over here and here over here um whereas these two are just standing dumbfounded at the big pretty lights the same going for these ones over here who are just sort of watching the fire um after a couple of seconds you see a figure running crawling from underneath this wagon here that's, that's how 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 stunning this this explosion was that actually the only person that's moving at the moment is a human figure that's crawling out from underneath this wagon standing up and sort of stumbles through there's a, there's a big gash on the side of his ribs it looks like um uh, a human called clyde that was manning one of the output one of the um guard not guard stations you know one of the fires one of the sentry posts and it has, has probably been hiding underneath this wagon the entire time and it's crawling and starts stumbling towards you at the same time you still hear the uh, jim do you have the the um that's not a very oh, good penguin seconds. thing you know what i'm talking about Oh, I do. <clears throat> Can you play that for us while I try and find some kind I of will. like thing? Okay, by the way, congratulations to all the VIPs on the channel. Jim, this should give you enough time. Congratulations to the VIPs on the channel. Um, and thank you very much for your contribution. That's why we all wanted to make you VIPs. And, you know, uh, and we'll try and keep up like a lot of community stuff because we want to try and give back. Um, and always entertain, you know? Jim? <laughs> what can out, I. Running out of words, sir. All right, Jim. Fortunately, I'm with three. So this yeah! is what, this is what you hear from. <laughs> there, got it, Jim. In the nick of time, sir. Nice job. That was pretty cool. That was pretty that cool. Was pretty fast, that was pretty fast, Jim. <laughs> that was pretty fast. All right, so that's not, what you hear. Not everyone that can magic up some penguin noises just like that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. But Jim can. That's why they pay in the big IT books. Right? That's why they pay yeah. in the big IT. Oh, yeah, one day. <laughs> <laughs> Are my levels still sounding high, by the way, folks? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, a little bit, just a, a tiny high. bit. Just check 
getting down a little bit. You're getting a little. I, you, you're sounding a bit fuzzy to me. Okay, you're sounding a bit fuzzy. There you go. Um, <laughs> sorry. Oh. <laughs> that was a knee-jerk reaction if everyone had one. Okay, so um, so thank you very much, Jim, for the <laughs> thank you very much for the penguin noises. The penguins are now being led by the no by the beaks by the beaks Jesus by the beaks by Blitzen, who's also sort of like covering her face from the effects of the this huge fireball. Um, you notice that the the uh, uh, all of you are in the wagon, um, and this has been like a, about five or six seconds, so about a round. Um, and nothing is stirring. Now we're going straight to Teddy, Teddy Wheat Pasture in the back of the va of the va wagon. What's going on? Okay, sir? Real I'm realizing now that probably throwing bombs might upset the penguins. I think it's time to switch to more conventional arms. That's really and... considerate of you. Mm, that's don't cool, spook man. The that's that's depth, everybody. That's character Let's not depth. Scare the penguins. We've only just got them back in the game. Let's not scare no, them. No, no, I, I'm I'm completely terrified. I want to get out of here. And this is this is a fear response of not throwing bombs at things okay. to get us out of here quicker. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a slingshot at the nearest um, orc slash goblin thing. Cool. There's a gob there's a goblin here. He's he's totally like dumbfounded by this big bright fireworky explosion. That was the ones saw. that we we hit with bombs, but then got hit by healing rain, wasn't it? Yeah, you hit them with the healing rain yeah, as well. Yeah. I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. Um, so yeah, you can That's totally it. you can totally go for that one, but it is kind of like back up to full strength. Um, yeah, so, yeah. That's fine. I'll take a pot shot. But right. thirty-five. That's a hit. That is a hit, sir. But bam, and it's dumbfounded. So I'm going to give you an. I'm going to give Ooh. you a. And I'm going to give you an extra D4. I'm just making this up on my ass. So um, a D extra D4 damage because it's but kind of prone. He's just standing there like slack jawed. So that's two three. plus three is five with plus a strength of three. That's so that's eight. eight. Um, cool. So that puts it down quite considerably. I think, if I'm not on my head, that's like a thing. Okay, yeah. So you smash this thing, and it goes straight into its nose, and just its nose just shatters, and blood splurts Ooh. everywhere. You break its nose, and it just howls in pain. It just staggers back, like, oh, and then just staggers, staggers back. Interestingly, an orc that didn't have a broken nose. Go figure. One of the rare occurrences, I guess. Okay, so that's your round. Yeah, set. that one's for the penguins, mate. Nice. Uh, so. <laughs> Well, the you know the penguins have been completely safe this entire time, so I like the fact you yeah. went with that, but it's kind of erroneous. Yeah, but if we put a bomb near the penguins, I don't know how they're going to react, do we? No, but yeah, that, that one's well. for the penguins and implies the penguins yeah. are in jeopardy. Well, they're about to run past the, go the, the orcs. Oh, this is a preemptive <laughs> that's for. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. Cool. <Okay>. Good, Pete. <laughs> nice playing. Okay, so next up is Ziggy. I, okay, maybe, maybe for some of the dead elves then. There would be more appropriate. How about that? How about this guy here that's been literally pinned to the side of the car? His name was Comet, and he was a nice guy. How about that guy? How about that's for Comet? Never. Never met them either. Sorry. Really? Not this human person? that's literally too busy nicking stuff. In, <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you took the shot and you you like used his shoulder, like hanging off the side of the spear through. Use his shoulder for balance as you fired the orc, and then went, "That's for the penguins." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking LP. All right. So, <laughs> so next up is Ziggy. I never said I was a nice halfling. You were not a nice halfling. All right, Ziggy. Uh, what's up, sir? You're here. Um. Yeah, I think we're just going to kill everyone and work out why we did it later. Um, <laughs> good old tried and tested military strategy, sir. Yeah, kill them all. Let's take Mars out. Um, yeah, <laughs> sort yeah, so, them out. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, are we is the sleigh moving in a particular direction? In this, in, in the same way that a car without an engine doesn't tend to move in any particular direction, this is exactly the same thing. There is nothing, okay, no, nothing's moving. It's, it's, it's unattached. Sort of a, a gun emplacement here. I sort of lost track. You of have like a, a okay. So bring it. So the horses, by the way, are in a corral, which then broke free of the corral and are scattered. So you, the, the penguins is your only option at the moment. You are on a repeating crossbow, which has an arc. I believe it's this. So it's not going to help you. It's like an arc like okay. that. So it's facing like this direction for a reason. Um, and are there? Any uh, orcs, as I can see, so just these two between Blitzen and the paint, this sort of area. Yeah, Blitzen. any orcs. So the mass of orcs you see here are a representational of the horde that is sort of like slowly marching okay. or about to start running Fine. at you. Like, Whereas gonna jump these three the here, sorry, Steve, these three here and these two here are actually in situ, if that makes sense. Right, okay. So Ziggy's going to jump off the back of the cart then and charge towards this, this <coughs> orc here to 
clear away for Blitz. He's really showing off to Blitz. <coughs> you are um, just showing. And... I literally was about to say that. You're just showing off to Blitz, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine, I guess. By the way, um, Hidden Heroin has made Blitz an even, even, even hotter than I thought she was in my head. Oh, yeah, cool, I love. Man. Yeah, I love the meme, uh, the Blitz and meme about her choice of. I like. Yeah, it was good, um, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, good. So yeah, can I do that? Can I attack this orc? Um, um I'm gonna say that that he is stu uh, he is stunned. So I'm gonna say that you will still be able to sustain the attack. Um, what's your movement speed on your character sheet? Five. Five. Okay. You know what? Yeah, you can do a charge attack. You can literally jump off like a pa little parkour esque yeah. and just charge straight towards it. Right. Yeah, you're gonna. So gonna you, it's a surprise attack. So you. I'm going to give you advantage, so you get pl plus 10 in your charge. I am a German cavalryman, surprise! Uh, on world of cavalryman, not German. <laughs> um, 22, that is a hit. Good, I'm just going to stop before we need to bring the lawyers in, because Andrew, apparently Angela Merkel is a fan, so I just want to clear something up. Um, this is not a German <laughs> accent that Steve is doing. This is an old yeah. Worlder accent of this game. Yeah. The old Worlder is very she similar. She is paranoid. This is very similar to the Holy Roman Empire. So this is not a German accent, although it sounds very close to it. And they use words that sound like German words. However, not German. So good. Now we've cleared that up. I think I over, I think I over talked that moment a little bit. Oh, parallel I'm world. Very right. similar. Okay. Yeah, I parallel world. Can... So oh. I rolled a four, and cool. that is a total of nine. Plus oh, one. Actually, plus one with your sword, right? Spider, is my spider sword plus one? It is plus one, isn't it's it? It's plus one, yeah. And you got right, strength so mighty blow? Strength of six, so that is ten. Wait, did you say you got a strength of six? An effective strength of six. Oh, oh thanks, okay. Strike cool. mighty blow and a spidery sword. All right, you are so, going to dispatch this thing. Yeah, you're going to totally kill it, like, knock it out of the park. Hey, Blitz, watch this! <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that what you say? Hey, Blitz, watch, watch, watch this! Watch this speed uppercut! <laughs> Alright, so you do, you literally, like, you, you do a combat roll in full armour, and then as you, like, get to your knees, you stab straight up, and the sword goes straight through its head. Blitzen, at the same, at this point, one of the penguins tugs at Blitzen, and she has to turn at the last second to, like, get it back under control. And turns out and goes, huh? What did you say? <laughs> like that, and carries on running um, as you do this cool movement. Oh, never mind. I'll do it again in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but but yeah. kudos, Steve. Kudos. Um, now your second attack, you won't be able to attack the other orc. Just to let you know, um, and you can't use attacks for movement. So your second attack essentially is kind of wasted unless there's something you can think of doing that I can say yes or no to. I guess. Um, shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! I'm my craft work favorite signal single it's fine i'm just going to stay still then and uh look menacingly at the orc nearest me okay make a menacing check no don't do that okay that's fine so you're going to look menacing at the next door cool um okay so fan favorite ratigan what's up sir how you doing i don't think we're all fan favorites don't single me out for being fan so that was stirring a little bit wasn't it that was a bit naughty fan art favorite maybe fan art Ooh. <laughs> okay fan art favorite um, um, hey, you know, if we all wore, um, if we all wore uh, bathrobes, then, you know. <laughs> it's the bathrobe that does it. And the uh, ferret. Yes. And the ferret. Uh, all right, so what are you doing, sir? So just remind me, who is this rather sort of um, scary-looking kind of double-bladed dude, hmm. right? This is Prancer, who is actually a That's bowman. Prancer. Yeah, this is Prancer. He's a very, very beautiful man. And a bowman, um, but he's in an old life. He used to be an entertainer, and he got nicknamed Prancer um, a little unfairly. But he, he's very obviously got a very strong character, and he sort of took it on the chin, and and he doesn't really like he doesn't mind about the banter about his profession. So he adopted the nickname amongst like the wagon train people. You don't know what his real name is, but it's clearly probably you know a lot cooler than Prancer. But he sort of wears the nickname like yeah yeah yeah. Um, I used to be a dancer. He is, however, staggeringly beautiful. Like when the, to the point where it's distracting sometimes. Like you like wow, like an aesthetic. I mean, whether Rattigan okay. is straight or whatever his sexuality is, doesn't matter. It's like this 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 man is like captivating in a way that is quite. Well, now ethereal. I think he he's intrigued. Okay. Well, so maybe maybe Ratty is a bit curious. Cool. All right. Um, so yeah, that's who brought uh, Okay. So um so um and the penguins are coming in. Uh, that how far away? 
they're yeah. over to the right hand side of the carriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right okay, so we're just clearing this route now, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Is my um, crossbow still? I mean, there's not. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what else I can do right now. I've got the other half of that scroll. Um, you do. You've got two scrolls, I believe. Hmm. I used one, which was like a wind blast. Yeah, um, and the, the other one was like a re the ray spell, right? I don't know what it was. It was healing rain. It was healing ray that you used, yeah, by accident, and you shot at the orcs and healed. Oh, them. it was a healing ray. That it wasn't a wind blast. It was a healing ray. No, the first no, one. The first one was a wind blast, which was this direction, yeah. um, where yeah. where Clyde has run from was that direction. Then you used a second one over here, where Blitzen's coming from, and that accidentally and he healed, healed the orcs. Yeah, you healed a bunch of orcs. Yeah. So that's it. They're gone now. Um, you've got one charge left of both. Ah, okay. Yeah. Bearing in um, mind that these these folks over here are representational of a massive horde of orcs that are, let's yeah, say, know, four, yeah. four or five like or six it. rounds away. You know. Hmm. I don't know what I can do. Really, like, is there a way we could turn around this cart to to make it faster for the um, uh, for the uh, penguins to kind of get? Hitched, hitched up to it. To know, um, man. Uh, I, I'm, I'm the god of all things in this game, but I'm not the god of your choices. Your free will, there, buddy. Free will. So, but you're okay, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> but see where I'm facing, <laughs> my guy, this is the front of the car. Yeah. Facing towards the orc horde that's coming down towards. Yeah. Us. If you see this, um, if Steve, I'm gonna slap your hand away. Steve, go away. Thank you. Um, so the front of this thing, this T bar cross, right. is like the bridling and the hitch that goes onto the penguins. The car. You it could help. You could theoretically, with help, maybe, maybe shift this with sheer brute strength and actually turn the thing yourself. But it's pretty, you know. You t I mean, that's why. That's why these. I was going to say horses, but penguins are now going to be moving. Fucking penguins. All these right. Well, look. Uh, penguins listen. are moving this thing. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do then. Okay. I'm going to jump down off the cart and I'm going to shout to um, the beautiful man in front of me with his awesome double blades yeah. and this guy, Mr. Chimney Sweep here, who's yeah. just like snap. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to shout, we've got to turn this car around. Right, um, are you please going to call them, you're actually saying beautiful man and chimney sweep. That beautiful man and chimney, yeah. <laughs> Oi, beautiful man and chimney sweep, we've got to turn this car around. You, they look um, at you like, what? <laughs> right. <laughs> Trying to work out which one's which. Yeah. Looking at each other, guys. Yeah, oh, looking at each other. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that, it's that awkward <laughs> moment where they don't. They both think. Well, obviously, he's talking about me as the beautiful man. <laughs> the other one up there go, no, feck off, it's him. Okay. <laughs> um, I haven't really worked out the depth of uh, Clyde's personality next to Prancer, so I'm going to say that Pro Clyde assumes you're talking about him. All right, so you jump down and you say this. Can you please make a leadership test? I'm going to say plus ten because you've been doing some kick-ass shit. So you've been proving yourself to be pretty cool. So plus ten. All right, it's gonna have to be yeah. Okay, so that would be thirty-four. Is your leadership twenty-four? Is it is it terrible? Yeah. Really? I mean, we are all really low level, and well, that's still... particularly twenty-four is particularly low though for leadership and unadvanced. That I makes know, sense. But I, I I grew up in a hedge, you know. So yeah, that makes, where, sense. Where... makes sense. <laughs> um, all right, roll a hedge and hedge wizard. Ten. <laughs> Wow. Nice. All right. Yeah. yeah that's I a passed. good success. All right. Of course, cool. so you passed. They look. Yeah. They did. They try to work out still who's whom, whom is who, whom is whom, whom is who. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Which, what is the you are referring? What's the grammatical <laughs> correctness? <laughs> whom is who? No. Who is whom? Who's who? Who's whom? Who's right. Whom? Who's whom? Because whom is who indirect. Is who? who is direct? Who is who? Who's whom? There you go. Steve. Tom. Don't ask me. <laughs> Fine. Who's whom? There you go. Well, we just have to live with it. So they, they, they sort of like go behind where the bride thing is. They sort of look for a couple of seconds and then they lift it up. And then Prancer goes, uh, points out and goes, what about those? And he sort of points. He's very, by the way, he's got a very beautiful voice. What about those? What about those? And yeah. he sort of points. It's very soothing and effortlessly charming. Uh, right. <laughs> sorry. Um, so yeah, he's pointing towards like the horde. And they're both kind of like straining against this thing, trying to move it. But... I mean, it's a horde, dude. We just need to get... 
It's the horde. We need to get out of here. Right, it's your you motivational know, speech. This is very Independence Day. I love it. You can shoot yeah. all of them you like. There's going to be more to take their places. we got to get this car to turn around and get out of here. Are you making a strength test, sir? Are you doing? Are you do you make you helping them move this bridling? Yeah, why not? Okay, Let's do it. So, what is your strength? Um, my strength is four. Okay, plus. Uh, so I'm going to say that you've got it's a it, you've got a strength combined strength of like let's say ten, but I'm going to give you because it's incredibly heavy. You've got to hit a sixty or below to move this thing. Okay. Okay. Where did this uh, the other? Oh, there's the other D10. Yeah. Right, thank you. Here we go. 59 by the whiskers. Uh, by the whiskers. Uh, Gobble and yeah. Spidge actually jump down and push with their little paws, and that's what that's what the deciding Aww. factor. They jump back in your pockets. Um, of okay, so now annoyingly, because I have to draw it all over again, uh, you have to. You've managed to you move. You might rotate the picture somehow, like cut it out and just. Not sort of... really, Tom. It doesn't. This is not how tabletop simulator works. But I, I thank you for the input. Um. So. So. Um. Uh. Yeah. I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. No worries. Um. So. How are you going to move it? Where do you want to move it to, I think, is the thing, sir. We're sort of rotating it, basically. 100 um, degrees, 90 degrees? Like, what's the aim here? Clockwise. Where do you... Well, we actually sort of need to go, like... Clockwise? Uh, like, 150 degrees, like, around <laughs> towards... Did you say 150 degrees? Where the... Yeah, it's very specific, I like. <laughs> All right. Yeah, around to where the... <laughs> um, the the penguin war penguins are coming in. Okay, so sort of, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. So you want to you want to kind of whack it so that they can literally just like be uh, a plug and play, so they can just be literally Straight attached. Under the yeah. Yeah. All right. Exactly. I'm going to say it's going to take two rounds for you to do that, and that requires Fair all enough. that requires a minimum of two people to do that. Once you've got it like Fair moving, enough. if that makes sense. Okay. So you start. I'm going to just. Okay, Me so and Chimney one. Sweep can do that while the beautiful man shoots. Orcs. Okay, so um, so you and Chimney Sweep, who has a name, but you and Chimney Sweep, turn it to like this position, so it's sort of like halfway there. Yeah, I'm just going to, and uh, all of you in the cart, so that would be Vixen is over here, Bondo's there, Teddy's there, Ratigan I guess you're at the front here, and that's Dasher and Beautiful Man and. <laughs> And also now, what's his face? Clyde. All right, so you are all here, and that's you're sort of turning the cart. So the tart, the cart, the tart, the cart starts getting turned, and um, these are all the weapons here, and that's the pile of bombs. Okay, cool. So yeah, the cart is now turning, uh, which is cool, ex which is exposing like this side. Bondo, you notice that this side is now pretty exposed, and these orcs are charging straight towards your position. Um, but the car is turning. You so I guess it doesn't take a, a, um, a complete idiot to understand what's happening. The car is being turned towards the war penguins that are incoming. All right, so Ratty, that is pretty much your go, sir. Um, yeah. Bondo is a complete idiot. Bondo is a complete idiot. Uh, hello, Bondo. Uh, let's let's do your thing. How about throwing some bombs at some unsuspecting people again, to, and then asking them to throw them? That worked last Oh, time. yeah, that was good. <laughs> Maybe, that was good. Not. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe <laughs> not. After the fourth try. No. Bondo so thinks no. <laughs> you can't say I do. Uh, the Bondo doesn't prove his theories. Oh, Jim, you literally role played to absolutely to Bondo's like character. I'm totally cool with your decisions. I stand by them. I support them. I think it was a brilliant play on who Bondo is. It doesn't make any sense in reality or logic, but for Bondo, no, no. absolutely bang on. In his sir. head, bang it works. It really works. Bang on role playing, sir. Bang yeah. on. Bang on. Okay, so what are you going to do? I've had far too much chocolate. I'm buzzing my tits off right now. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's just like ridiculous things to say. Okay, so, sir, what's going on? Right then. As you say, Bondo notices the fact that the cart is exposed. The orcs are effectively to his left. And there is an unmanned. What was the what was the tool down this end? It was a. Was this it is so. Or? This is a repeating crossbow, which has actually got okay. an arc like this. Uh, you've got a mortar, which has got a three hundred and sixty degree arc where Teddy is. Uh, this is the bomb pile, and then you've got a cannon, which is now facing this way, and then you've got a crossbow, which is also like this. I'm going to go for the crossbow at the back left of the vehicle. Uh, oh yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Okay, so you're Off on the side you're... rear of the vehicle. Okay, so you've got um, you notice very because uh, it's pretty obvious. There's two rows of crossbow bolts left. 
Good. Right, I'm going to take aim at these chappies here. Okay. These guys. There All you right. Go. So you, you run across right. the crossbow and you sort of chunk chunk and you start like cranking it up and taking aim. You get a plus ten because the the repeating crossbow has iron sights, so you'll be able to shoot better. Um, mm. Right, make your roll, sir. And I'm just going to be literally two seconds to grab some water. Oh God, no. Yes, yes. Uh, look at that. That was incredibly fast. Sorry, um, what happened? <laughs> Unless there's some sort of a miracle, 57 does not 19 plus 10 make. 57 does um, not 19 plus 10. No, um, it does okay. not. So, so you sort of like, no. So what happens is you like you sort of crank it up and you sort of your palms are sweaty a little bit at the prospect and you start firing off your and actually what you've done is misjud misjudged the height of the crossbow repeating crossbow and you're sort of on your tippy toes and it sort of like judders more than you expect it to and you start like firing wildly so you sort of like crossbow bolts like ping into the wagon and the barrel over here and the floors and just like pep like literally like pepper the entire area. Um, thank uh you. Thank you, Mysterious Floating Pencil, for that. Um, so, yeah. so you just sort of fire off an entire an entire volley of these uh, crossbow bolts. Uh, to no avail, sir. And the orcs are still... No, panicking. sadly. Uh, yeah, so that's a big new. All right, Bondo, that's <laughs> your go. It's, I think that's everybody on the hero side. Ziggy, you can't do much else. Okay, the orcs are now starting to charge in. So these three orcs, um, with no real seeming care for their own um, their own... Uh, their own safety, there you go. Um, start charging through. The next round they'll be upon you. Uh, there are uh, many orcs sort of following. There's still about three or four rounds behind, but they will be upon you very soon. Uh, so it's going to be very tight. You, you notice that maybe a couple of rounds for the penguins to arrive. Maybe a, you don't know how long it's going to take to bridle them up if they play ball. And then to get going again, we'll take another round. So it's going to be pretty close uh, if you want to try and get out of here. Plus, you have the issue of everything else that's coming towards you as well. Um, at that moment, um, you hear this... <laughs> and this huge ogre kind of like collapses out of the um, of this wagon that's been half blown. He's, he's sort of crashed into and stands up. He's, his entire chest is still smoking. Um, he's been charred and scarred very badly across his chest and his face and his arms. And he's sort of, he's like screaming out in rage. Like... <laughs> Like that, and he picks up his his sort of like fallen axe, which has been broken in two, and stands up, and he staggers like he's drunk, left and right. Um, I'll never get bored of your ogre sound. Do you like needle. it? No. Yeah, they are quality. I did play a D and D stream with a mate of mine, um, Brian, uh, back in in Los Angeles last year, and this was like actually the noise I made for the character, which was like this tiger dude. <laughs> Sorry, every D and D player now in chat is going, "What the fuck?" <laughs> so this tiger dude. <laughs> um, yeah, and that was the noise I made. So it was like, <laughs> like that. So I thought it'd be appropriate to use it for ball ripper. I, know, I could have actually gone the other way. I could have made him like talk like Frank Spencer, like oh, no, but my name's Ball Ripper, like that. I could have made him like a Frank Spencer character. Another highly relevant. Um, maybe maybe he does talk like that with today's that audience. No, only in private. <laughs> only in private. Yeah, he, he sort of yeah. gets. He doesn't. Close family. Well, he's got yeah. a, he's got like a reputation to upkeep. You know what I mean? It's exhausting because he doesn't really. He wants to be who he really is, and that's maybe his character thing. That's his like his obstacle in in super objective is just to be who he really is. Anyway, <laughs> we're spending far too much time. Poet, doesn't he? Just, it just yeah. crazy. A ball ripper with the heart of a poet, is that what you said? Yeah, the ball ripper has the heart of a poet. Right. He, he's published under a pseudonym. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. He's surprisingly well known in the Border Princess. And he actually yes. writes, he writes beautiful poetry, and nobody knows that he's actually also the, the dude that's terrorizing the Border Princess. He doesn't want to do it. It's just that his dad used to be a terrorizer. So now he has to do it. Okay, fine. So this guy is going to destroy you for the distraction. All right, so he sort of steps up and staggers. And he sort of like starts lurching forwards. And he gets to where Sinterklaas's body is, which is just lying prone on the floor. And he sort of looks down at it. And he sort of holds up his axe, which half of it is, like half of the head of the axe is broken. And he sort of looks at it. And he sort of like shakes his head, looks down at Sinterklaas. And he just goes... <laughs> And just his huge goblet of spit just comes out and he just spits on Sinterklaas's corpse and then oh, looks at you. 
<laughs> oh no, he didn't indeed, sir. Uh, he just looks at you, raises up the, the, the axe, and starts stumbling towards you like this, like smashing against this wagon here. We're going to take this fall down. But every we step gotta... every step he makes, he gets yeah. seemingly a little bit more compass mentis and a bit more back into the reality. Like he's been like shell shocked, but he's like snapping back in. And you get the feeling that either you're going to have to get these war penguins hitched up soon, or yeah, like Tom said, you're going to have to make a stand. Uh, but this thing has been damaged, without a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Okay, so, All right. so uh, Steve, you're going to get charged by this orc over here. Um, and these orcs are now getting closer, and they're sort of around here-ish. Uh, some of them are scampering on top of the wagon. Um, one of them is now dying. Well, look that, guys. You're not going to get anything from it. <laughs> maybe they don't want to loot. Maybe they're just like, maybe they're not into, maybe they're decent orcs. <laughs> Pete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very yeah, they're goal orientated orcs. They're they, goal they, orientated. <laughs> yeah. They're professional, is all I'm saying. They don't stop to loot shit when you yeah. know, people need rescuing, like poor Rudolph, Pete. Steve, you weren't here, but basically, Pete left a, a decent human who did have a drinking problem, but a decent human to die. What? Yeah. That wasn't me. <laughs> 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 It was just okay. really oh, Steve was there. You talked about the talked about gout thing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So apparently none of us watch the shows back. Okay. So uh, Steve, <laughs> you're now being attacked. Um, I'm going to give you the opportunity to use your second attack because this thing has entered combat in the same round. I think that's fair. Okay. All right. So um, this thing is yeah, going. To... Yeah. Yeah. How I get on. Okay, so this thing like, is, is still a bit like kind of dazed and it's just moving on instinct more than anything else and raises its like club. It's got like a cudgel with like a, like a nail sticking out of it. Raises it and slams it down. You easily like get a sword, get your sword to it and parry it. Like you catch it on your cross guard and push it away. You now have your second attack, sir. So you may are free to roll. I'm saying, Sir Orc, your clumsy attack has left you wide open. <laughs> and I'm going to. Nice. <laughs> 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 it's a critical failure. Okay, so I'm going to disarm you. Literally. So what happens, Steve? Is like you say that. What do you say? What is it you said again? <laughs> Tell me again. I said, I said, Sir Orc, your, your clumsy attack has left you wide open. And then I'm yelling, hey, Blitzen, look at this sweet repost. And she's and looking then... straight at you. <laughs> and here's the thing. She's looking so straight at you that it really freaks you out and unnerves you. And you start, you decide to add a flourish in because that always makes you feel good to do a flourish. You put a flourish in and your sword, you just, you just, your wrist just catches and it hurts. And it just causes you to drop your sword. And your sword just goes spin, 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 spin and just lands behind the orc like that. <laughs> and you're now you've got a shield but you've got no sword in your hands so the sword is now kind of behind the orc okay, okay. That, that's what you get for critical failure sir so anybody new yeah. to this game we work on percentiles as, as obviously apparent each uh, weapon skill ballistic skill each characteristic has a percentile all you things like strength and toughness have like one to ten um, which can be made into percentiles by times them by 10. If you roll a 0, 05, natural 0, 0, 01, 0, 05, or a 96 to 100, that is what's known as a critical failure, so or a critical success if it's 0, 01 to 5. So 0, 01 to 5 success, it's like godlike level of ability. Legends and stories are told about this one time this, this person did this thing. Whereas 96 to 100 is the one time that Blitzen notices Steve's character trying to do something cool and totally fucks it up. Um, and possibly puts him in mortal jeopardy. So that's your go. New round. Um, Blitzen and the war penguins, sorry, make their way closer to you. They're about a round away and they're moving rapidly. She is running flat out with these things. Uh, Teddy, it's your go, sir. Uh, Teddy, Teddy, so there's an orc there. There's an ogre there. He looks like a nice sizable target. He, he, I'm sure he'll enjoy getting bonked on the head by the uh, the orb weaver. All right, mate. So uh, what's, your, what's your catapult called? The orb weaver. Orb weaver, that's it, which is sad, Neil. Yeah. All right, so they're the orb, <laughs> the orb weaver catapult. Uh, roll your dice, sir. Make it happen. 
Let's see what's going on. Papa needs a new pair of... Right, 2020. 99. No, 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 that's not fair. I moved the dice. It's 99. No, Oh, God, no. I really want to make that a thing. DM assisted. New rule, if the DM moves the dice and it changes the other dice, then that's a thing. No, okay, it was 59. I think we can agree that. It was 59. I'm using my benevolent powers to save your ass yet again. Okay, so 59. So you shoot and it shoots wide. So it, it misses uh, the orc. Um, it's no, like, I wasn't moving the orc. I was going for the ogre. Ball oh, you're going for the ball ripper. Okay, fine. So he just flies off, and, you, and just there's something about this this staggering behemoth that's literally kind of still smoking and charred that scares the living crap out of you. And you just you fire off, and you, your nerves get the better of you, and you just fire wide. Um, cool. Okay, next round is sorry. Next turn is Ziggy Zigmund. You're now weaponless, okay. sir. Yeah, but I'm doubling down on the cool thing, and I'm going to try and do like a combat roll past the orc to catch the sword in one hand and get to my feet. I like it. Are you going to try and like yeah. attack at the same time, like combat roll, grab the sword and stab? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm properly doubling down on the showing off nonsense. All right. How, what is your initiative like these days? It's a 36 on a good day. That's modest. And what's your weapon skill like, sir? <laughs> It's a 35. I'm consistent. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to give you... Okay, 35. We're going to take your weapon skill then. So this is a weapon skill initiative roll, but I'm going to, I'm going to sort of keep the average 35. down. 35 okay. is what you need right. to pull this stunt off. Round it down. That is your, that is your right. Yeah. That's my dungeon. Right. I'm going to just push this button and roll these dice then, okay? Hit it. And it's a... Uh... Oh, you lucky son of a bitch! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah! That was awesome, I blew on it and it just went. And that was yeah, but now no one else will see it. You no, lucky <laughs> bastard. That was real luck, not this like phony luck skill that gives you like a plus 10 or plus 1 or minus whatever. This is real Will luck, rise. folks. 30, you lucky bastard. Alright, so you you do this, you combat roll, you grab your sword, you turn around, you stab this thing without even looking, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> I slice it back across his like Achilles tendon, sort of. Well, yeah. let's see. Roll your damage, sir. Yeah. Roll your damage. I've got, I've got to roll the damage, have I? Okay. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> get out for free. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. That's a so three. three. Plus uh, six, nine. Mm. Okay, you do. You can do that. You can. Um, it's not going to be dead, but it's going to be pretty mostly dead. So um, yeah, this thing staggers yeah, forward. You slash it across his Achilles. It goes down to one knee. It's like, oh, like that, and it was kind of surprised. So it's more like. Like that, as it sort of goes down to one knee. You also notice as you turn around, go hey, 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 um, that the penguins are now obscuring you from view, and uh, Blitzen is still leading them forward. So that cool thing everybody missed again because you were obscured by a penguin. Uh, um, but that was pretty awesome, dude. I'm going to say that was that was pretty cool. It's all, it's all pathology. It's fine. It's He's all gonna... good. Yeah, it's all good. One day, one day. Okay, Radian, uh, you'll go. Yeah. What's going on? Am I well? Am I still shoving this cart around? You are. Uh, <laughs> you are shoving this cart around. You also notice that these orcs are actually slightly more quicker witted than you are because your initiative is pretty bad. So they're actually going to be moving even closer. Um, if I can just please just pick them up. I can't pick them up. Has somebody okay. put these down? Have you done that thing where you like put? You have, haven't you? You fuckers. What? Oh no! I can it. Yeah. Okay, that was paranoid of me. Sorry. Um, okay, so these things now. <laughs> Dangerous paranoid god. This is fine. <laughs> I think I'm all, okay, I'm so all, actually, um, I'm gonna shout to the. In, well, I'm instead of shoving, carrying on shoving the cart, right? Yeah. Because we've got the ogre closing in on my our, our angle <laughs> as well. Haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ogre goes after. He's not quite as quick witted as as the dumb witted of you lot are. All sense. right, I'm gonna shout. I'm gonna shout to uh, the chimney sweep. Yeah. <laughs> Keep pushing, and then I'm gonna turn. Um, you can move your character, sir. Sorry. Mm. Feel free to pick up your character if you want to move around. Well, I'm just gonna um, point towards the ogre and these guys here and do the second wind blast from that scroll. Okay, cool. Yep, um, make it happen. Um, so again, uh, you sort of yeah. bring the scroll out. Um, I believe it's Gobbo. Oh, no, sorry, not Gobbo. Uh, noodles. Noodle. Noodle. Yeah. Nood is it Noodle or Noodle? <laughs> noodle. It's like, Noodle. Like the food. Like the food. Wind. Just, Man, wanted to be, would... just wanted to be careful because, you know, I don't want to be that embarrassing guy who says, no, it's not Noodle, it's Noodle. You know? 
Don't want to be that Denzel. guy. Denzel. Yeah. <laughs> Denzel. Yeah, it's Noodle. All right, Noodle um, comes up again and like places his paw on your cheek as he sees that you're like pulling the scroll out from your pouch again. Um, and you utter, again, this thing happens, your vision blurs and the words become very clear. So the whole world blurs down, but the word, these, these visions kind of, these words come out very clearly. You have no idea what they really mean, but you understand the meaning of this spell. So you don't, these are like nonsensical words that you, sp you can speak out, and you know that you have to speak them out yeah. and just like in, in this hand they movement. They float through me. Exactly I right, think. sir. They do. They float through you. Yeah. Um, cool. And I yeah. go... Ba -ba 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I came out with some really good Latin last time, and you're just pissing all over that now. <laughs> That's, that, that's like... what was written on the scroll, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's just blah, 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 blah. Right. I believe there's an accent to it. It's <laughs> I thought that right. the scrolls were in crayon. When they are in crayon, <laughs> <laughs> it still says. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, so you uh, you fire this thing out. So you have a cone arc. I'm gonna say it's kind of like this, I guess. So you can. Pro and this is a wagon. So these things are on top, and this is behind. You're not going to get these two things behind. You're definitely going to hit these ones on top. You're going to hit the the ogre, and you'll hit probably the first two of this lot behind them because it's 48 right. yards. Right, that's what I'm aiming for. Yes. Yeah. All yes. right. So do you have the spell to hand, sir? Because that would be useful. I do not. I do not because I. <laughs> Why would I think I, you'd have the spell to hand, Tom? That would be that would be un that would be unbecoming. <laughs> I'm gonna get the spell for you, sir. What was it called again? You Remind gave it to me? me on the scroll, man. I, I'm just, um, I'm just, you know, riffing here. <laughs> okay, fine. So it's wind blast, sir. Now, wind blast, if we all remember, is a uh, is a cone, 48 yards, uh, causes a terrific blast of wind, aimed specifically at a single character or group. Victims hit by this are knocked off balance for one round, during which they can recover balance. They are treated as prone. They can move nor fire missiles. Anything in hand-to-hand -hand combat is, yeah, it doesn't matter, blah, blah, blah. And, um, cool, okay. So they can move forward if they make a successful strength test, which is five times their normal strength, which is pretty lousy. So I'm going to say these orcs are not strong enough to do that because they're, they're not, just not going to be. So these things hit down, um, bam, bam, like that. And these two do as well. But the ogre is going to make a strength test because it's fucking enormous. Yeah. Um, so strong. it is... Cool, okay. So actually, you managed to knock the ball ripper off his feet as well. So he goes, Boom! and actually the wind blasts, like a very, like a cold snap of wind, wakes him up. And you see like sort of like his alertness just snaps back, like somebody just slapped him in the face. And he just screams out at you. Like that, and as he falls back, and he goes, oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you, you measles. His like sort of voice is then, he's, he's, I'm gonna get you, but that's it. I'm gonna make him sound like, like that guy off, off the buses. Oh, brother, I'm gonna get you, but no, I'm not gonna do that. It's ridiculous. Oh, you brother. Oh, oh, you magic users. Oh, that. <laughs> Can you imagine if I have to spend the next fucking hour talking like that dude off off the buses? Is it, is all right, Santa Claus. Hey, I'm not, all right, you Santa Claus. Thank you so much. I'm not doing it. Your holiday doing it. You're watching 70 sitcoms. <laughs> what, in preparation for just in case you reference on the buses? Yeah, that's yes. exactly what I was doing. That's that's how I spent my birthday, actually, Tom, because I care that much about this. I care about you lot. I care about you. I care about our friendship. Fuck you, Tom. Right, so I'm not doing it on the buses. So it just goes out. Like, you get you, you me. So like that, and then just like crashes back. Like, and crashes back into it. And it actually gets knocked back. Uh, good, uh, it smashes into this wagon. And just sends it, all of its contents like flying and like that back into it, bam, 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 like this. And these two go flying off. In fact, they're going to take falling damage. Uh, they get knocked back off, and both of them are going to have let's see two d six is like four. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so yep, okay. So both and you hear this like you hear these two things pinwheel off, and they just hear this sickening crunch as both of them like slam out somewhere they fall quite a long way and they just crump crumple off you they disappear from view but it doesn't sound good um i think that's your go so that was pretty awesome. that's my go yeah that was pretty cool okay i'm down with it all right um ratigan that's over bondo is your is your turn sir what are you up to what's going on bondo is hoping the cats are pulled to be a bit more accurate this time these things are close range <laughs> i'm gonna give you plus 10. if they're in there right on top of you you better hit I was, yeah I was to say, I 
really do hope. But hey, here goes. Uh, anyway. Plus right. 10 for your iron sight and plus another 10, so that's plus 20 for the extreme closeness of them. Oop, missed your dice wrong, Aaron. 47. 47. Yeah, 47, 19, that'd be 39 no. with luck. Uh, you do, you haven't used luck yet, so annoying yeah. luck holds. Your luck holds, sir, because it's your first of the day. Yay! Uh, first of the session, yeah. So your luck holds, right. you, you go, so you manage to go on your tiptoes again, you hit the, the, the shot, and um, you can hit all three of them. If you, you roll a d3 to see how many of them you hit, there's a d3 here, sir. Um, that's three, I'm going to allow that. That's three. So you can hit all three of them once, or one of them three times, or a combination there. three. One hit. All three, one hit. Okay, so you have to roll three individual d6s. So let's just make this nice and easy. There you go. So there's three d6s if you want to hit on first, second, third. Any d any sixes were automatically critical. Okay, so the first one is effective strength of four plus three, uh, seven. Uh, four, that's six. And the last one is nine. Okay, so this one, which is standing directly in front of it, you just literally go, bada, 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 and just like, gets like, like butter, th like a knife through hot, um, Hot, wait, a knife through hot, hot butter. Knife. Would that would that work? No, no, wait. Would that work? A knife through hot butter. Yes, it would still work. It, it would still work. Yeah. Butter's hot. The butter's yeah. hot. So let's just do that. Because why? Butter's hot, and the knife is not. The cold right. knife through hot butter. There you go. There you go. Fuck you, convention. Anyway, hot butter right, so just turns liquid. All right. Then, doesn't it, right? So you you do that. It fires off. These two things uh, get hit as well. However. The uh, okay, so these things also get hit, but it's just not enough. They're completely enraged, so they are just still like screaming at you now, almost frenzied, uh, oh, bon and, and they're charging. <laughs> One down, two to go. Yeah, this doesn't look good for our, our pal Bondo. Okay, so these things are still up and running. Okay, uh, new, so it's now the orcs round. So these two are now going to attack you, uh, standing right in front. They clambered up and they're like clambering into the wagon. Um, the first one is going to swing, they just have hand weapons, like nothing fancy, like an axe or something like that, you know, something generic. I do have an axe. No, they have an axe. That's 99. No, they have axe. Oh, it's not fair when they have weapons as well. I know, oh. right? It takes the fun out of it. So the first oh. one critically fails, it basically goes to swipe you and it completely loses its footing and it falls back. And I'm going to give it a, um, a fall of like two yards, that'll be four yards. So let's see, five, okay. It doesn't take any damage, but it does fall off. It's now prone on its back. Um, so it falls off the side, it loses its footing and falls off the side of the carriage. The second one is going to attack you as well. It's also got like a, a rusty sword. Um, ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Again, it misses you and you manage to like put, I don't know, you manage to just easily dodge its blow because you sort of see it coming because it's, it's, it's in pain. Uh, but you are in combat now, so you can't use the crossbow again until you're out of combat, if that makes sense. Um, cool. So, Steve, this thing is just about up and running. It turns back to you. It's making a last ditch attempt to try and just end you. Bad, bad man that you are. So, Steve, it misses. It's a critical failure. You are going to get three attacks, uh, if you choose. An extra attack now on this creature alone, as its disadvantage. Steve? Well, now. now. No, no, no. Um, during your next round, you, next, can, make, you can make an extra attack. attack. You can make an extra I've attack. I've got another attack left this round. Oh, um, you can make, you can make an extra him. attack this round. Yeah, you can totally do okay. that. Okay. Yeah, that's really should I do it after the orcs or should I do it now? Yeah. Uh, do it after the after the orcs finish. Um, so these things are down for the count. These two things have to hold back. These are now moving forward. So we can say that these are all encroaching. One of them is now like sort of scampering over the body of Sinterklaas. These things are here. We're also going to say, I didn't move these. So this is now, Blitzen has now arrived with the war penguins and is now trying to turn. Um, Dark Prancer is out here. Clyde is sort of taking up position here. And um, Blitzen is now screaming out, Bondo, Bondo, come and give me a hand. Wow. Silence. <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. Oh, I'm new to eating a sandwich. Yeah, thanks. The, um, Thank you is for that. Be... <laughs> yeah, well, I think you really want to hear me chewing. But, um, you could do that. I mean, your character could be eating a sandwich. Combat. I don't know. Uh, Bondo is in combat. <laughs> eating, and yeah, apparently Bondo eating a sandwich and in that. combat. Bondo does always have an emergency sandwich. Bondo is multitasking. Bondo is a nervous snacker. <laughs> yeah. Like, like when yeah. shit gets going, like shit gets real, Bondo snacks. It's like it's a way of compensating for it. That's why. Yeah. 
That's why he's like, he seems pretty chilled out, but really he's just a nervous snacker. If you get an insanity, I'm going to make that a thing. You're going to be a nervous oh, snacker. Uh, oh, <laughs> no. Like a willpower test every time to avoid eating a snack at a really and critical moment. Another sausage moment. sandwich. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Where do they keep getting them from? I don't know. All right, so um, that is what's happening. These things are now coming thick and fast. Uh, luckily, Clyde and Prancer are now helping defend, taking positions. Uh, the orcs are standing on top of the body of Sinterklaas, which looks like a smoking, ruiny mess. Um, Rattigan, you I see you see the sort of war penguins coming in and are now like being jostled by Blitzen, who's now trying to wrestle in position. Um, Dasher is now uh, also trying to help. He's now jumped on the the gangplank, I believe it's called, or something like that. Um, just here, and he's trying to help hitch the uh, things. And Vixen is now turning and uh, is seeing the the orc, and she's picked up. Um, Actually, no, she's not. She's manning the uh, the last sort of row of the crossbow bolts here, and he's just aiming towards uh, this area over here. Um, I guess that's new round, right? Yeah. No, 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 it's, no. it's Steve's go, right? You I've always got, yeah. forget Steve's second attack. I know. I think it's unfair. I think it's unfair on the orcs. The initiative order and Look, sad orc. See that? Sad orc. Mm. Right, let me make you sadder. <laughs> 26. That's, that's a oh, huge that's a sad all over. Yeah. Um, can I have one of these D6? He has so many and I have so few. <laughs> uh, four, so that's 10 damage. Nice, that, that's totally going to kill it. And I'm going to put to bed whoever's drawing this stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm to you. draw a sad orc. You're not, well, you've, you've had many aborted <laughs> attempts to draw sad orcs. Look at all this. Look at this mess. That's not me. That's you. This is. Be honest. This is me. That's you. Right. I'll be able to that white circle. Right. I, I am to that. Sorry to interrupt your moment, Steve. In fact, no, I'm not sorry. You apologise, Jim. Uh, <laughs> you're really serious. I'm joking. I don't give a fuck. It's like, this is just like it's silly. All right. So that's um, a cat. Not a lot. That's a cat. That's a cat. Look. <laughs> Now it's a rabbit. <laughs> this is a rabbit. There's a cat. It's not a rabbit, it's a rabbi. It's a rabbi cat. Rabbit. Alright, that's a pussy cat. Now we can clearly see that. Well. Six legs? What kind of cat do they have in water and stuff? I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, what's, what's your name? Steve. Steve. I'm so sorry. Alright. What, what, what is it now? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. It's, it's a penguin cat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So where are we, Steve? What are you doing? I, I just saved the entire day while you guys weren't watching. I um, rolled some dice. <laughs> we were drawing a cat. That freaking time. All right. So do it. So how would you get four, right? Yeah, so I got ten points of damage on the orc in you front of me. I think totally you destroy it, man. Yeah, well, you do what you tell us how you're going to coolly effortlessly destroy this fucking thing. Yeah, it's just it's just a surgical bash him in, in you know in his sword arm with my shield and then just stab in and out with the um with the it all just, it all just looks very sort of like nonchalant and, and uh, practiced rehearsed. Did you like one of those catwalk walks off like bang 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 like it's, you it's, strut? It's, he doesn't flourish or, 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 or strut or anything like that, apart from when Blitzen's watching. Apart from that, he doesn't he doesn't do that sort of thing. He's just very methodical and cool. So it's just a quick nick, and then and his enemy falls like sanguinating to the floor. He just walks past him. Good use in the word sanguinating there, sir. So. Okay. That's <laughs> yeah, it's a good word. <laughs> All right, so you turn and dispatch this creature easily. Um, you can see the, the area around you now, Steve. You can sort of take everything in with your combat like awareness. And you see the ogre uh, like, straggling to its feet, and, the, and there's a, like a blast of magic. Tom is like turned around and there's like his bathrobe is like fluttering in the wind and there's this huge like kind of like I don't know like a blast of flatulence that is just have, knocking have we, have we established whether Tom wears underwear under his bathrobe? You don't know Nobody's, well, you can do an investigation check if you get close enough but that No be... I, don't, I don't want to I'm just wondering if Hello. it comes <laughs> Hello <laughs> um, <laughs> any, any investigation check that way leads to madness all right. Um, well, it's old world of eye bleach. Yeah. Uh, if I can move my character just a little bit, I'm going to move him like to take up a defensive position against these. Or Oops, I just fell over. You can get into uh, a defensive, defensive position. Yeah, you won't be able to yeah. move anywhere, but yeah, you can sort of like get ready if that makes sense. Cool. So I'll turn to face these orcs who are coming in here to sort of cover okay. blitz and the war penguins retreat. All right. Cool. 
Groovy. Okay. Yeah, I'm down with it. Okay, so uh, where we're out to. So that is your second attack. So we've had the orc. the orcs have moved and stuff, I believe. And okay, so we've got dancer over. Sorry, prance over here. We've got Clyde over here. Is also trying to face off. Um, cool. Uh, new round, I guess. The wind spell, the the wind blast spell uh, eases off. Um, so you're sort of back to being just average ratty. Teddy, it's your go, sir. You are now, you see this combat ahead of you, and this orc over here is struggling back to its feet, having been knocked off but not damaged much beyond oh, the then he needs, a, he needs to be shot in the face then, doesn't he? Does he? I mean, maybe ask him what his needs are, his wants are. Maybe he just needs the love of a good orc. I did. Uh, now you can have a critical miss. <laughs> what if, where is it? I'm down here, 98. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I'm going to do something really horrible to you. Um, did I say that out loud? That was supposed to be like an internal thought. Was that in, that was an, that was an out loud voice, wasn't it? That was an out voice. All right. So I'm going to get you to roll a uh, durability test, which doesn't exist in Warhammer until just now. Um, basically, this is a critical failure on a weapon. Um, um, this is sad Neil turning into angry Neil. This is sad Neil turning into vengeance Neil. Um, I don't know. Okay, so you haven't what told you, you I haven't told you what to roll yet, so I'm going to allow okay, you I'll a free. Wait, 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 stop rolling! Will you stop? <laughs> no, no, stop it! Stop it! You know what? There, I've taken your dice away. Stop being naughty! Oh stop rolling! Yeah, there you go. That's an outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me let me try and work out the rule set to be fair to you, or maybe I should just destroy you. Okay, so it's a durability test. I'm going to treat it like a risk test. You have a 50-50 chance of your catapult breaking or not. This is a critical failure, okay? And it may not break permanently, but it might break just a temporary thing, like the string goes or something, okay? So it's a 50-50 test, a risk test, and no modifiers. So 50 or under. So I've got to score 50 or under to not break it. To right? not break the string of your catapult, yeah. Okay, and we're broken. That's okay. So you sort of like, you pull it back <clears> to <throat> such an extreme, you pull it back so quickly that you actually like kind of rip it and break it. And it just goes, Pong! And it twangs out. And so now your catapult is, is still mendable, but temporarily useless. Okay? Wow, uh, not really. But... Sad Teddy now. <laughs> well, sad Teddy. Sit and huff now in his little car. In the is that the extent and... of your combat prowess? Huff. It's sad, it's sad, <laughs> secondary <laughs> weapon, take... huff. <laughs> you might actually have to try and hit something. Crazy, like, yeah. you know. Crazy. I've got a weapon skill of 21. It's not going to happen. You're sitting on top of a mortar. I'm just reminding <laughs> you. You're literally sitting on Remember top of a mortar. Remember what happened last time we Huffing. tried to use the mortar? Um, <laughs> oh, that's the no. bombs. Well, let's, no, that's that the bombs. bombs. That's different. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's your go, sir. Um, next up is Ziggy. Zigamund. Zig, Zig, Ziggy. Uh, Ziggy. Yeah, so Ziggy. is there anything... Uh, like the orcs in front of me, are they sort of um, what they call representative of much larger numbers? No, uh, they're literal. Ones. They're literal. Yeah, they, they are. They are not sort of um, place. They are actual orcs. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I, ooh, uh, I think, actually, my, I can't decide if I should charge Bull Ripper, or just quote poetry at him. Maybe he'll maybe he'll realise I'm a kindred spirit, um, or just charge. <laughs> I'm just going to charge the orcs. I'm thinking this. I'm going to charge the orcs in front of me and hit them with my clear, clear the orcs. Clear the orcs. <laughs> hit him with a bit of metal. Yeah, that's right. what I'm going to do. That's what you can do. Okay, so you, you can actually engage both of them in combat. You could engage them both by going down on one knee and proposing. So Sorry, that's a terrible joke. Uh, you can engage both of them. Wah, wah. Tom, we talked about you getting the wah wah machine. Has that happened? That's just. I'm pretty sure that's just you Why saying that. When I can just do it. Because machine, the idea of having a what what machine sounds like we have a lot of money and it's opulent. It's unnecessary. It's opulent. We, we have to have opulent broadcast on Twitch. Yeah, it could be it's our new. Be, the chaos thing is dead. Opulence is the way forward. It could be our new USP. Opulence. You can imagine Netflix boardroom. They're sweating it. Oh no, I hear that opulence over on Twitch. <laughs> opulence. opulence is the new thing. Where we got this opulent? Uh, that chandelier is an opulent. Let's make a documentary about the chandelier. Come on. My agent works for Netflix. Um, My agent. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He did the same voice. It's fine. I'm moving right. on. I'm going to. I'm going to attack, um, <laughs> attack the orc. To be honest with you, Steve, I've only just sort of like come to from the initial like scramble. So I've, I've kind of the last hour has been a bit of a blur, really. Okay, eighty-five is a miss, I believe. Eighty-five is a miss. That's right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, 
that's your first of, of your second attack of your two attacks. first of many attacks do <laughs> two. i get an extra start? oh no it's no right. no it's got no no no, no, no. That, that's done now yeah it's done uh ratty gun ratty 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 so what's happening with the penguins are they getting hitched up to the car sort of oh she like um at the moment blitzen is struggling she's putting them kind of in position but she's struggling to hitch them. She's screaming for Bondo, who actually does have drive cart skill. Yeah, 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 to yeah. To try well, and actually help my... her. All right, that was going to be my next call. I, I mean, Bondo is unfor... Is he basically pinned in combat? He's in combat right now, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, um, so... Um... Think, Ratty, think. <laughs> Can I charge down to the... Um, guy that the orc that he's in combat with and and take a is it is it will i be able to reach him and take a yeah you a could do swipe? a charge attack at him or we could try and grab his legs and pull oh, him, or grab his stump you know, run... back and pull him off or something yeah you can do that. yeah i'm gonna run down the side of the car sorry i haven't got a good angle on the car here mm -hmm. um and um i'm just gonna swing my tree branch at his legs okay all right, uh, so I'm going to say that's uh, that's basically a, a straight weapon skill roll. Um, he's higher than you, but not by much, and he's pre he's in combat. So I'm going to say it's a straight weapon skill attack. Do I get a plus for charging, or do I get a plus for the mm, fact that he's looking get, at someone else? You get you get a minus because he's elevated, but um, but that cancels out the fact that you're okay. you're he's in combat. So you get plus ten for charging. Yeah, I'll give you that. Okay. What's your weapon skill again? 38. So you get 48 with a plus 10. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Nice. 16. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Good clean hit, sir. Okay, so roll your dice. See your damage. All right. Take your chances. Roll your dice. That wasn't a roll. Oh, it was a roll. Okay. No, this is the roll. Two, Two plus your strength. Four. <clears throat> Four. Um... Call it six. Okay, so you, you sort of take a, a good stab. At, you, you take a whack at this dude. Um, so that's six. So that's my okay. So cool. Okay, so actually, this orc, you smack in the back of the of the of the head. You do one of those whips that just smashes it back, and you see its face just go. Well, sorry, so uh, Bondo sees its face just go like that, and he just pitches forward, and just slams on the onto the ground in front of Bondo. Um, there's no blood coming from the back of his head, so it looks like it's been concussed or something. Um, and it's sort of prone on the floor. Um, it is breathing by the looks of it, but it looks like it, you've just knocked it out by chance, really, more than else. Um, All right. Uh, I'm done. also going to, if I've got, got, a, if I've got a, any time left in this round, I'm going to yell at Bondo, get to the front of the car and start driving this thing. Yeah, you can say that's a free action. You can totally say that. Yeah. All right. So that's what I've done. I've just did it. But you're not there the boss go. of Bondo, so whether he's going to do that or not, pff, I don't know. No, but I'm going to damn well try and get him to focus on what he can do. <laughs> Bear in mind that, that, he, that Jim and I just spent a while drawing the uh, demon cat over here. That's true. <laughs> yep. Good right. Luck. Right, there you go. It's what was this guy over here? What is this Which guy one? over here with fangs? This is this a demon one cat. It's supposed no. to be a, a, a no, this sad guy over here beyond the um which one i can't i don't hey. know how to point him i'm gonna put he's this nobody. guy he's like this guy. he's not anybody look what's that no but the draw the guy I'm, I'm, oh this this was this was gobbo oh, sorry not gobbo i keep calling him calling gobbo this was spidge or noodle that your cheeks that recharges yeah. your magic points is that noodle right Fer ferret doesn't look anything like that it's ridiculous Moving on. No, <laughs> no, uh, no, Tom. No. Direct to Tom. Tom, you want to draw a ferret? Be my guest. You got a pen in your thing? Why don't you draw your ferret? And by the way, why don't you, why don't you try and roll pen some time? Yeah. Yeah. If you ever don't rub it, rub it out. It yep. was good. It was yep. like Neil. No, you go ahead. No. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going let's... to role play until you do, sir. There you go. I There's a face. I believe it's. I don't know how you do a pencil, anyway. Uh... <laughs> All right, here you go. I'm gonna do a better ferret, okay? Just because I love you. You know what? Have you ever <laughs> seen? <laughs> oh, there you go. That's a better ferret. Did you do that? Did you do that? <laughs> All right, let's, let's see. All right, sorry. We throw our uh, toys out the pram. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Okay. All right. I believe it is Bondo's go. You're right, Tom. Yes. It is Tom. All right. <laughs> I can't believe you criticized my like n the noodle holding in your face tentatively. I thought I conveyed a lot of emotion in that picture. 
Like it was tenderly holding your face. It was a really angry. It didn't but maybe angry. I was just looking at it from the wrong angle. I think you were looking let's at it upside down. Let's move on. Okay. Let's move on. All right, Bondo's go. Bondo, 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 Bondo. All right, Bondo, sir, what are you going to do? Right then. Okay, uh, Bondo is going to run towards the front of the carts. Am I still engaged in combat with this dude? No, this dude, this dude, he... on, this dude on the left-hand side in front of you is actually being knocked off. He fell off the cart and has got back up to his feet. You're no longer, because the orc in front of you that's actually on the floor here um, is uh, knocked out. So you can, you'll feel free to do whatever you want to do. I'm going to run towards the front of the cart and help hitch up the penguins. Okay, cool. You can make a dexterity plus 20 roll to, to sort of do this reasonably rapidly. Right then, my dexterity is actually surprisingly good. What is it? Um, 40. Okay, cool. So you've got 60 or under, plus, and you've also got luck, I guess, as well. So if you fail this, that'd be deeply embarrassing. 97! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that's a critical, critical failure! That's why it is the night of critical I, fails! I can't believe it. Oh, yeah, I'm wow. going to use luck to take that down. Yeah, I would definitely <laughs> use luck to take that away from being a critical failure because I was having some really nasty thoughts then. Okay, so you are you're using luck again. Right, cool. Your luck holds, so you oh, almost dude. do a thing which literally would have snapped the bridling mechanism, uh, the, the, the linchpin that holds the entire unit together. But at the last Brilliant. minute, you, you see what's about to happen. You pull the, one of the straps out or something, which stops it from breaking. Um, but you don't you actually don't manage to do what you're supposed to do this round. Uh, but very well played, sir. That was that was awesome. All right. Um, Blitzen looks at you like, come on, hurry up. And these things sort of take a, a few steps closer. Um, that's your round. That's your go now, isn't it, Bondo? Yep. So these orcs sort of start and start passing. Both of them are sort of in combat. This other orc is um, sort of like coming back. This way, I guess, it walks past to glance Clyde. This thing is stomping through to go towards Blitzen. These two are here, and this ogre is now stomping its way forward as well. These things are also back in control. Um, yeah, looking a bit grim there, folks. Um, it is a world of grim peril. It is a world of grim peril's adventure, and fate points are there to be spent, as we all know. All right, so this is now Rattigan. You're now being... You're being attacked as well. So, um, first, let's start with Ratty. So, the orc has got up, is now uh, charging you, sir. Let's see what he does to his friend. It's a critical failure. You get two attacks next round against this uh, orc, just here. That's next to you. Um, we have Prancer and Clyde, I'll deal with in a minute. Steve, you have two attacks, and then you have your own attack afterwards. So, the orc's going to attack you first. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a miss, and then. That's a hit. So then let's do this. Do, 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 do. Two, that's four. Okay, so it's a strength five hit, and it's going to be on to your 20. That's going to be your head, sir. Well, you've got dodge blow. I've got dodge blow. Yep, I can do a dodge blow. Yeah, you can dodge can it. Go yep. I will have a go. Okay, I will So it's your initiative, step. I believe. Just straight initiative. Yeah, that's my initiative, which is. 60. Oh, okay, that's a miss. So you take a strength five hit. What's your toughest? I'm a bit. My strength, my toughness is three, and I've got a shield. That's uh, where four. Was so you take one point of damage to your head. My head. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I haven't got any armor on my head. So that's one point damage. I'm a bit fuzzy about where my wounds are because I've got this. This is your zero. wounds here. Did you get healed yeah, at all? Since twenty. I, I don't know. To be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah. I. I don't know why it says zero. I didn't touch oh, okay. Well, the only thing you did get hit last time is this is wrong. So what's your your normal wounds? I think you probably rested in between. Six. All right. Let's just say you're you're on six at the moment because I don't believe okay, you got stop. hit at all last time. You take right, one wound. Okay. okay. So it just catches Five, you in the eight. side of its knuckles and just slams you like punches you in the side of the head. And you're like, you cool. The head. Okay. Um, it's made the list, so. Uh, so that is its go. Then we've got Clyde and Blitzen. So let's just uh, sorry, Clyde and. Yeah, those people also do, 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 do. Okay, that's a miss. And that is a miss. And the last one, Groovy. Okay, so it is now, uh, I believe that's everybody's go. Blitzen is still trying to help. Ta ta ta. Clyde, they're going to do the next round. That's fine. Okay, cool. So, um, new round, I think. Yeah, new round. Uh, Teddy. This has gone very <sighs> serious, hasn't it? There's a lot of, of things coming our way. Do you feel right? like it's gone very serious? Well, we are nearly, very nearly, very nearly going to be squashed by a massive orc army. So well, there's no reason not to get your chin up and have a bit of fun. Hitting up some penguins with cars feels 
I never thought the game would go this way, but here we are. <laughs> do, 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 can I get my do, second attack on, on the orcs? Just before we go back to Teddy, is that... Oh, yeah. yeah, can we verify anybody's still left in the stream? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. I think we're, feeling like we're just playing by ourselves. <laughs> Same as it ever was. Um, yeah, okay, so I missed forty nine. Right. Just that's so a miss. I was in effect in my second attack. Yeah, that's your second attack. Okay, can you round uh, Teddy? Teddy has a very stupid idea. What's a stupid uh, idea? I love stupid ideas. Left, how many bombs are left on the wagon? Um, there's two bombs left in in the uh, in the wagon. Oh, I'll so say there's more than two. No, it's two. Um, that's kind of frustrating. I bet. Um, I can't. It's I can't do that. You can just throw them all, all at once. Um, okay. Idea. Because um, throwing two doesn't really have the and the expected outcome. Um, oh my god! I just had a quick look at the board. This does look bad, doesn't it? Fuck it out. From this angle, it looks really bad. From your angle, from your mortal angle. Whereas from God angle, this isn't like, is like bad at all. So, oh, there's just a few orcs here and there. But from your angle down here, oh my goodness. No wonder yeah. you mortals are afraid of dying. Look at that. Terrifying. Well, sorry, I digress. Carry on. I've ever played with who's just gone like, all right, level one characters, throw an orc army at them. <laughs> can I give you a hit? Can I give, tell you something? Reveal something, Tom, which is like pulling back the fourth, like revealing through the fourth wall, the, the pulling yeah. out the veil. You lot weren't supposed to still be here. <laughs> like, you were supposed to be gone by now. This is like the ramifications of what happens when you don't listen to the hints the GM is giving you. Yeah. Hints? Wait, 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 wait. Hints? I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Although, I love you for it, and that's why I save your asses every now and again, because I think it makes good drama. Carrying on, so let's go. And then, by the way, who said life was easy? So, anyway, <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> Um, what are you oh, going to do, folks? I'm going to join the Orc Army, because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that border the guy's going to be <laughs> Just run. Wait. Oh, no, Neil's going to die on the theme. Sorry, uh, <laughs> I've killed the Ball Ripper 2020, you know? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Neil? Neil? Call 911. Neil? <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I just what? wanted the worst gig I was eating because I laughed too much. What were you eating? <laughs> oh my god, you bastard. <laughs> that was really funny. I literally choked on the rice cake. <laughs> because of what Steve said. <laughs> Don't eat rice cake, just eat real cake. Real cake. Yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Do you want to drink a glass of water or something? I just had a glass of water, that was hysterical. Okay. No, it was really funny. I just choked on a rice cake because what you said made me laugh too much. <coughs> <laughs> I'm just coughing up rice cake for my lunch. <coughs> oh my god. Okay. That's I'm... not rice cake, Neil. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, nasty. What? Okay, comments in the chat. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 oh my god, that was amazing. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> wow. Okay, I'm here. I'm back. Holy shit, that was intense. Give yourself a minute. <coughs> okay, I'm back. <coughs> oh my god, that yeah. was that was fucking hardcore, dude. That was like a that was Metcalf's rice cake that nearly ended me because I laughed too much at what Steve was saying. <laughs> they, they, should have, they should have a warning on them. Those I feel there's a lesson in here that I don't seem to understand. Mm. Don't stream it. Eat rice cakes. Nah, yeah, I think it's more, more. I think it's more existential than that. Okay, so you know what? I've survived. My life is now better off because I see my life in all its choices. And I'm okay with everything. I'm sort of like my life flashed before my eyes. Nobody helped. That's fine. Um, actually, Steve helped. Steve did help. So I I'm. To call yeah, you were calling nine one one right now. <laughs> does nine one one work? Wow. Yeah, 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 it does. You know what? Life is good. I just my, my whole life has been put in perspective and. War penguins are okay. I'm okay with war you're penguins gonna, now. You're going, be a, you're going to be a more benign DM now. You've realised, you know, your life flashed before your eyes, and you realise, like Ebenezer Scrooge, that killing PCs on their first outing doesn't really pay any dividends. And 
all that sort of stuff. Sort of a Dickensian morality tale. Oh, fuck no. No, no, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> fuck no. Not. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> In fact, you know what I'm going to do, Steve? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I was hoping for arc. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. He's now split okay. into five. He has a magical power that I didn't tell you about. He now can multiply himself. I'm not going to do that, of course. Um, no, there's no way, chance in hell that you're getting off that lightly. Um, cool, I'm back, seemingly. Sorry, folks, for the, uh, the worry scare there. Nobody was scared, were they? They were just like literally eating their own rice cakes going, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Cool. All right, so back in the game, um, alive and well and kicking and, and now full of vim and vigor. Um, what was happening before I choked? <laughs> Live. I, I, I had to uh, throw 100 bombs at once. I don't think I'm going to be able to. So. All right, so what are you going to do instead, man? What are you going to do instead? Well, am I, am, have I picked up enough from what we were doing to, to light these bombs? Uh, you bomb can light a it. bomb. It's not the, the issue about not having the right skill is that you can. It's like getting used. It's like doing shot putting. Like you can spend a whole like hour shot putting, but you're not necessarily going to be an Olympic shot putter by the end of it. Do you know what I mean? That's a very interesting um, analogy to use. Shot putting. Okay, let's go with that. All right, cool. So you can do a shot put hurl, but you're still going to be at a slight disadvantage because you're hurling a bomb and you don't really know how to do that. So roll your yeah. dice. <laughs> oh, wow, that was full on, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right, so where are you at? Sorry, what's happening? Uh, 82. I, I, I was throwing a bomb at um, old uh, Bullsack. Okay, uh, so you, you throw the bomb, but it sails straight over his head and actually lands sort of like over here and just causes a massive explosion on this part of the wagon. Uh, but no orcs were injured in the making of that moment. So you got one bomb left. You got one bomb left. Man, that's all you got. Come that's on, all you got, one bomb. You That's all I need. All I need. Yeah. Ziggy, it's yeah, back to you. Is. Ziggy, it's back to you, sir. Uh, You've got two on either side. Orc to the left of you, orc to the right, stuck in the middle with you, uh, apparently. So I'm shouting out, uh, Herr Ooh. Ball Ripper, how does one go about joining your fantastic legion? Uh, well, at the same time, dropping the orc's head off. Are you actually going to follow that as a Bible thing of like, how do I join? Like, you're going to do that fake arrow thing, but this time in like a, like a bluff test to try and join his thing. Yeah, exactly. I'm, 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 I'm saying it just, just to sort of make him, you know, you know, distract him or something. I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm just not going to let you roll for that. It's just, it's so preposterous. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, more preposterous than the war penguins. Anyway, I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve. 92. <laughs> that, that's what you get, Steve. <laughs> that's, that's what all I get. got. That's what you yeah. get. All right, yeah, so your, your attack fails. Uh, Ratigan, it's back to you. Uh, this is intense. Yeah. Um, There's an ogre behind you as well, not looking very happy. Jeez, well, I haven't got many tricks left up my sleeves right now. Um... Uh -huh. Get in the wagon and get ready to go. Isn't it? <sighs> Show me your yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump up on the wagon. Um, is that all gone from the wagon? Uh, the the other one did not fly out this place. Yeah, there's an orc in the wagon that's unconscious. Oh, that's Teddy. All right, I'm going to jump up behind uh, Teddy and try and get onto this uh, crossbow if it's still loaded, but I'm going to generally ignore it. <coughs> Yeah, you can see it. There's one row of crossbows left. Like, crossbow bolts, sorry, left. All right. So you could, like, get on it and try. And... I'm not going to give you the plus 10 for the... If you want to fire this round, I'm going to give you a disadvantage of 10. So you're going to have just your ballistic skill. Nothing, no no bonuses for the, the iron side. Okay. All but right. if you're shooting gonna... it, this one here, I guess it's plus 10 because it's close range. So you get plus 10. All right, I'll give you that. Okay. I'm going to do it. Uh, hang on, I've got to switch off the... Uh... Oh, that was you doing all the pen stuff. Yeah, sorry, I've had the pen switched on, and um, mm. hmm. Right, roll. Could you imagine if I actually died? Like, here lies Neil New Bonnie Bitchery tomorrow. Died eating rice cakes whilst talking. That would what suck. A way it would suck, especially because it was like a vegan rice cake. Like, it wasn't even like like a indulgent rice cake it was like a tiny bit of like vegan chocolate on top of the rice cake with with, with your hedonistic lifestyle the last 40 plus years that's that's quite depressing isn't it 
Or I, maybe... I, I was thinking, with my bacon sandwich, and you're sitting there with a rice cake choking. I know, right? Me, yeah. That bloke with a sandwich, and you're the one going, ah! I know, that would really, <laughs> that'd be awful. I'd be like, yeah. why not Jim? As I die, well, in my head, obviously, I'd be choking. <laughs> why not the bacon sandwich? Oh. Rosebud! <laughs> Rosebud sandwich! <laughs> yeah, that would be awful. That'd be awful. That would be a hell of a way to go. Rice cake. Then of course anyway, you're like, anyway, sorry, digressing quite anyway, So you missed the roll. Okay, you missed the I roll. Missed. You missed, sir. So you're like, bada, 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 and you fire off, and again, it's like you, you don't really have control of this thing, and it sort of pepper, it peppers the whole area and sprays around, and it just goes choo, 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 as it finishes, and you realize you're completely out of bolts. Um, and you didn't hear anything, sadly. So now you're All you're right. sort of in in the in that moment, in that place. So. All uh, right. I'm gonna it. yell. I'm gonna yell to Bondo. Bondo, get this thing moving now. Indeed, Bondo is in fact your go, and pressure is now definitely on. Sir, are you going to again try to like bridle up the penguins? Oh, give us a bloody chance! I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna eat another here. rice cake. Careful, Neil. Step away. Danger, rice cake. <laughs> they are dangerous. They're completely dangerous. Those are totally dangerous snacks. <gasps> oh my god, these are dangerous <laughs> snacks. Like this is the first live actual peril. live dangerous snacks. Eat at your own peril. Indeed. <laughs> wow. Should you, should you dip it in some liquid first. All right, I'll be back. Hang on. Well, maybe some, some like. Soy. Okay, go get some soy. I get some chili. There you go. Chili, yeah. rice cakes. Oh my god, I spat I all like of it into shark. the packet. Look at that. <laughs> wow. The mortal coil, did eh, you say, folks? Did you say spat into your packet? Spat into the packet of rice cake. <laughs> the rice cake packet. Oh, good grief. Yeah, oh. give it some flavour. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, that's horrible. Death and comedy, folks. <laughs> Death and comedy. All right, so, uh, Bondo, you're going you're gonna to roll. <laughs> you're going to roll this dexterity check, plus 20 because okay. you've got drive car, apparently. Here we go. Yeah, try not to critically never, fail again. We are not getting out of here alive. Yeah, you? you're really not. Oh, my God. Oh, Fuck. Oh, oh, diddly, diddly. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, so you're still fumbling with this thing. I'm going to give you a throw your bone here because this is going to get wildly out of control. Um, yeah, so Blitzen comes up and just goes, she looks at you again, just goes, ugh. And just, she just stomps in between the middle of these penguins. She slaps one of the penguins that's trying to bite her. And she just grabs the, bri bu uh, the bridling from you and loops it correctly and then just hands you the reins and then hops up onto one of the penguins and then jumps into the car. This is what's called <coughs> when an NPC steps in. She can't the plane when NPCs She's attack. Rolled. Yeah, and you know what? I actually rolled for it, Tom. Look at this. I rolled that. That was me. Oh, oh okay. That's good. At least you rolled for it. Like, yeah, you know, I fucking rolled for it. it. I okay. earned that, right. Tom. I earned right. the, the possibility of finishing the tutorial. Say, if you wanted to kill us here and now, you know, at the hands of an orc <laughs> army. Yeah. Fair play, because we have rolled terrible you roles. You have rolled terrible. You deserve to die. In fact, Tom, I think this is like a one-off show, really, isn't it? It feels like that. It's like one-off. I, I feel that if we just roll a lot of bad rolls, we should just die, and that's the end of it. The Vagabond Chronicles, which I, I guess one of those, like, you know, film noir. If we did this in film, it would be shot in sepia or black and white. Like yeah, it would be it's, and it's spoken like in Scandinavian. In the Sundance Kid, where we all just sort of go out guns blazing. Yeah, but, you know. Did you see an ogre out there? Down. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they just go out and like this, you know, brilliant. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, cool. strike us down, Neil, and we'll all become dwarf troll slayers. It's as simple as that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> strike me down, and I shall become over my now. dead rice crispy filled corpse. That's, that's <laughs> all right. So uh, okay, cool. So the the bridling's now attached. Uh, Jim, you're in the driver's platform again which is good I bundle cracks the reins okay as you do that um as you jumps in vixen shouts out everybody get in now we're getting it we're moving out of here um and dasher is now sort of loaded the, the cannon um and i guess that's how the blitzen is now like pulling out her bow from her back and put she's put her weapons away and is now taking her bow out um i guess it's the orcs go right so this orc is now clambering up towards ratty these two are now going towards Prancer. Um, these two are now heading towards the War Penguins. These are now attacking Steve, and this one's on uh, Clyde. So, uh, Steve. Yeah. Steve. So uh, you're going to hit take one, and you're going to take a. You're going to take one hit. Um, that's going to give you. Mm -mm -mm -mm, okay. Uh, four points of damage. 
Um, that's going to hit you in the leg, so... That's fine, I take that on my shield, then. Right, for no, cool. no effect. Okay. Your puny ball amuses me. <laughs> okay. So, um, the war penguin is going to take one hit. That's going to be a hit. That's going to be... Who's got the war penguin stats? I did give you them. I think Jim has, right? I do. That's going right. to take seven, seven to its uh, body. Ow. I don't think I have a location on these, <clears throat> just companion animals. Yeah, but you've wounds got the stats. Wise, they do have, yeah, they have seven wounds. wounds. Seven wounds, what's its toughness? Toughness is three. Oh, so it's going to take four wounds to its body, so that's four, oh. so you put it down to three wounds uh, on a piece of Poor paper. Poor penguin. Poor, Poor penguin, penguin, right? That's what you get for being a penguin. Bam. <laughs> I'm going to regret killing you. Uh, bear with me, my lovely wife and assistant. <coughs> okay. Debbie McGee. All right, cool. No, <laughs> Rose, of course. You're married to Debbie McGee? <laughs> no, that's Paul Daniels. Okay. Pencil. You're married to Paul Daniels? <laughs> married to Paul Daniels? <laughs> All right. So, um... <laughs> no, just his wig. <laughs> All right. So the ogre gets towards, um... I'm going to say the ogre just charges straight at, uh... Where's the PC? It charges straight at... <laughs> sorry. Did I say that out loud again? All right, it's just going to charge straight at the wagon. And it's going to make an attack on Teddy. Um, hi, Teddy. What? Hi, <laughs> Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Hi, Nice, bait. I, for one, hey. love our ogre overlords. Rise and tell. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Teddy, how many fate points do you have left? <laughs> just okay. the one. Just well, the one. Here's the good yeah. news. Here's the good news, sir. That was a critical failure. So this thing yeah. like takes a swipe at you and actually what it does, it swings like this heft of this like axe which has been broken almost in two. And it actually swings past you, you duck, and it sweeps past and catches the orc that's trying to attack Ratty <laughs> and just cleaves it in two. And then it attack I'm gonna roll a dice those actually you'll have to see how many of these things Yep, two, okay. And then it cleaves into the orc behind it and then takes that one out as well. And it just sort of does a spin motion like this. And it just spins it wildly out of control. Okay, new round. Teddy, it is your go, sir. Um, well, I'll go pull out my little short sword and... Um, Wave it at somebody! <laughs> Why can't I open letters? Oh, has he actually moved away from the, the cart? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like he pin, was... he's pinwheeled away from it. Like he's spinning oh, out. Oh, okay. Well there's, there's, well, there's one bomb left. Let's throw it at the general mass of orcs sort of down here. All right, cool. All right, make your uh, blister skill test there, buddy. 99. That is a fumble oh, critical roll. Louise! No, no, no. It's, it's a double, though. It's a double. It's a double. It's a double. It's a double. Yeah, it's a double. So anything can happen. That's a critical failure, but it's also a double. You're absolutely right, you lucky son of a bitch. Or not. So let's find out what happens on the critical miss table. Um, I'm just going to find it. So again, folks, this last time while I'm trying to find the rules. Uh, this I've not done very well with these bombs. You really, yeah. This is probably, there's a, probably a lesson in there somewhere. So this is nope. a critical failure on a bomb. <laughs> now, if a bomb goes awry, um, if it's failed on a critical, it's subject to misfires. Um, misfire is... Please be a dad. Please be a dad. Please be a dad. Be a dad. Be a dad. So, yeah, there's a certain percentage that if it misfires, it's going to be just basically sputter out. However, it could also go horribly wrong. It could also blow up in your face, or it could just be thrown somewhere and hit someone. So let's see. Why don't you roll a d100 and let's find out, sir. Oh, why don't I roll it? <laughs> That's such a great idea, right? Yeah. That is a what is that? A eleven. Eleven. Okay. So you luckily, you lucky little fucking halfling. Okay. So this thing just splutters and dies, and you hurl it, and it just bonks against the ogre's head. It goes bonk. And it goes ding 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 ding, and it just goes pff, 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 and just splutters and dies. So nothing I'll just make really that bad. Kaboom! Noise and see if I can, you know. Yeah, Make you say kaboom like that, and <laughs> and the ogre doesn't look anything. However, what the ogre does do, because that was a critical. I think we can all agree that was a critical failure. Kind of want to spank you for that, sir. Kind of want to spank you a little bit for that. Um, but enough about your private life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not no, fair enough. It was a double. It was a double. It was a ninety-nine. Yeah, which yeah. any doubles on the gunpowder equal a misfire. So I am fair enough. I've punished you enough. Okay. So the the, um, <laughs> the safe word is is warhammer. So the uh, the bomb rolls away and it misfires. And nothing bad happens to you ever. 
<laughs> Ziggy, it's your go, sir. Um, the the by the way, the war penguins are straining against the reins, and they are starting to move the cart. Uh, Ziggy, you can sort of hear that movement behind you. What are you gonna do, sir? Uh, I'm gonna. Well, I don't know if I if I disengage with these orcs, will I be horribly cut down from behind? You'll be subject uh, to. You can fight. You can do a fighting retreat if you want to move and I'll block do, a little bit. I guess that's probably the most prudent thing to do, rather than turn my back on these guys. Mm -hmm. I don't know. In D and D, I'd get an opportunity attack, but I'm not sure if that's a thing. In this, if you so break I'm combat, sorry. you definitely get an opportunity attack. Uh, okay. All yeah. right. Well, I'll just I will sort of withdraw, sort of like a sort of a yeah fighting tactical withdrawal, not yeah, running sure. away. You run can away, sort of do that uh, backwards and like sort of like edging try towards. And, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I'll, edge, I'll edge Teddy, and um, I <laughs> will yeah attack. Can I attack as well as edging away? Yes, you can. <laughs> it's basically it's a thing called. Um, what is it? Folder romper folder. It's like yeah. There's a term for it in fencing. Yeah, you sort of rumpel stilt skin. Stiltskin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Okay, so I, 17. I got so I hit one of them, right in right in his right in his face. Uh, so that's 11. 11 that's wounds kill it. to the to the body. That's gonna kill it. So uh, yeah. I think you're getting MVP today, Steve. You are. <laughs> you are dude. I'm, 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 killing, I'm killing hundreds of orcs. I'm just not a, not having any impact at all on on the battle or the opposite gender <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think, well, that's a, exactly uh, but yeah so that's, right. that's just another one dispatched with a deft blow to the right. guts bam um boom eat boom. that mother walker okay so that's that one taking off uh, next up is ratigan <laughs> uh this thing is now starting to move sir um it's lurching forward this ogre is just staring at you screaming like Rah! i'm sorry i've got a thing for that <laughs> Like this. And he's just screaming and like cast, bits of spittle and vile are coming out of it. I'm gonna cast a uh, cone of healing at no I'm not really. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, not again. Can I reload this crossbow or does, does You don't does have the beyond? skill to do that. You don't you don't know how to do that. It would take so, far, so much time to do that though to work it out. You won't you just can't do it. Alright, that's fair enough. Is there any other weaponry I, I can immediately grab? on this cart that's still available. A halfling? <laughs> Just throw Teddy at him. Oh, it. <laughs> it's a fastball special. It's a fastball special. Wait, wait, throw no. the halfling, yeah. I threw the last bomb away. It should have held onto it, right? The fastball special. <laughs> <laughs> you could totally throw the halfling. You're strong enough. Um, I'm not going to throw the halfling because we're, right. we're trying to get out of here. Um, we we is there need halfling. You did not throw a halfling. Yeah, sure. Is there any other weaponry on the um, on the uh, uh, cart that I can use? There is a mortar, and if my calculations are correct, still has. Somebody's got their twitch on, by the way. They need to turn it off. I can hear myself echo. Yeah, thanks, I folks. Um, so you, uh, you, there is. If by your calculations, there may be still a bomb in the mortar. Um. All right. <coughs> I'm going to get on the mortar then. All right, you run to the mortar and you do indeed see this little bomb. Somebody's still got a twitch on. I don't know who that is. Sorry, folks. Just gonna check. Not me, I'm muted. Mm. Not me. All right, we'll just have to live with it. Um, so yeah, you see the um the bomb is still in the mortar and you can like, like, you can probably light it with magic flame or something like that. Yeah, great. Let's do that. Yeah. Um, right, cool. So I run up to the mortar. Um, I go up to the wick of it, hold out my hand, Spidge brings down a little bit of lint, um, and I go, Oh, time for you to light! Um, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, raising that. Where's the, where's the you bastard, bro? That's the whole point. Okay, <laughs> you bastard. Bam! Okay, you fire it off, and it does light immediately. Um, you know that there's like, a, it looks like there's a big long cord to fire this thing, and that looks like you pull the cord. You haven't aimed it, by the way, so I'm just going to go with. Yeah, you can roll it. You can roll it. And basically, if you roll, that means you have the wherewithal to aim it, and if not, let's just see what happens. So, uh, roll your dice, so your blissed skill, straight blissed skill test. Straight bullets at school. Are you yeah. aiming for the for the ogre for Ball Ripper? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah, we're aiming. We're gonna go straight. All right, ball. make it happen. Make it. Oh, forty-nine. That's not 49. a hit, right? Nah. All right. 
miss. All right. So uh, that's some horrible, disgusting miss. Um, so you fire it off. It's and not this... bad a miss, actually. It's All right. My not... still 34, so. Fair enough. It's just still a miss. So this thing flies in the air and just goes, <laughs> and it lights up the whole area. like Because obviously the fuse has been already been used mostly. So you lit it and then fired it. And it didn't. It was on a parabolic, parabetic, a parabolic arc, but it exploded in the middle and just didn't get as far as as far as that and just exploded um mm-hmm. so yeah that's it so you, you sort of waste the last bomb and this thing starts charging like again boom, 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 starts running towards the the car um it is now uh, bondo's go so i believe bondo is still cracking the reins to try and get us out of here in spite <laughs> okay. of the poor war penguin getting a pasting um hmm hmm yeah, I think we aim for just to the right of Steve. Jim, I think there's way. Twitch on in your background, mate. <laughs> no, the only thing I've got on is um, just this. Hang on, two seconds. I'll unplug and replug. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be dramatic. <laughs> so, I'm going to unplug it all. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> um, it's, uh, we're good. I haven't got anything else running on this machine. Weird. Okay, so no worries. Um, so what are you going to do, sir? You're, you've now got control. These war penguins are definitely motivated. They're also attached, uh, and you can set off a lickety split if you wish, sir. Let's go on ahead in this general direction. All right, cool. Make a drive skill test plus 20 to see like how fast you can kick these things off. Right, what's which skills for drive? Um, uh, it's drive car, I guess, would be dexterity plus 20. Oh, good skill. thank God for that. Okay, that gives me 60 then. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, wrong thing. Wrong thing. Oh, oh where are God, you? I'm finger trouble here. Two seconds. All right. I normally let loot users have that, but With you? Hang on. here we go. And Bosch. Wow. Okay. Oh, for the love of the It's cars. okay, it's okay. You're, you're driving the car, it's just not pulling off as quick as you want it to. So you're sort of geeing the penguins, but they're very distracted by the smell of blood and these orcs attacking it and all kinds of things that are going on. Uh, it gets very distracted. And water's going off and bombs. Yeah, and bombs, explosions. It's, it's sort of, they are going the right direction, they are moving off in the right way. However, they're just sort of, um, it's just taking a while, if that makes sense. Um, so cool. Okay, so uh, pa, 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 pa. cool. Um, that is now the orcs go. Uh, the ogre is now like it's like leaping its way towards you. Um, the orcs are attacking. Um, something weird happens actually. Prancer is standing there. It's now being sort of surrounded by three of the orcs. Another orc behind it here, and um, he, he just goes into this huge flurry, and he suddenly pulls out these two daggers. And just rip straight into all three orcs um, uh, surrounding it, apart from the one that's slightly above it. And he hits all of them. Uh, yep, he hits all of them. And he takes out... Yep, that's going to do it for you. Yep. And he literally does this thing where his blades become almost like whirling. Somebody's got their twitch on, folks. It's, it's starting to get annoying. Don't know who that is. Sorry. Can you all check, please? Hello. No? Yeah. It's not I have go. Discord and Tabletop Simulator on this headset, Weird. that is all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I just don't know if you can hear this or not, but sorry, it's like feedback is crazy. I can hear it. Yeah, sorry, folks. Oh, okay, we'll just power through, but apologies to everybody in, in the community as well. Um, so, this, this, uh, so Prance goes into this, like a dance. He just goes into this like, whirling dervish moment where he just spins around and goes into his knees, jumps up, does like a butterfly kick, and takes out all three of these orcs. Bam, Is bam, it bam. Yeah, but he, it's kind of like that. It's almost like, a, like an acrobatic parkour display, and his blades are whirling. Um, they just spin around. And he takes out the last, he's just this sort of leaping dash, and the last one, the fourth one, in fact, he gets takes out as well. And he just lands here, and then he looks straight at the ogre. And he just he's just sort of panting. He turns and looks towards all of you. In fact, he catches like Ratty's eye, uh, as well as the rest of you in, and just and just sort of stops staring. Not another one catching my eye. He's winking at you. He's catching something. all of you. He's not winking, winking. but he is pretty <laughs> stunning. He's pretty stunning. But that was pretty fucking awesome. That was pretty amazing. And he just sort of take took out all of these dudes around it. However, Clyde, who is the other human that was sort of like trying to help uh, buy you all some time, is not doing too well at all. He takes a, yep, that's going to do it. Um, he takes, uh, th- this orc literally like kind of like swings around and his warhammer just turns Clyde's poor head into melon. And then he sort of rounds upon him and then attacks Steve from behind. 
Um, it is now a new round. Teddy, uh, you have an ogre which is about to clamber on board. He's now clambering on board the back of the wagon. Um, I'm going to slice at his fingers then with my short sword. Cool. Okay. So, you, yeah. <laughs> Go, Pete. <laughs> Go, Teddy. <laughs> so, I love the fact that you're now taking on this monstrously huge. Um, uh, got no choice, really. Yeah. It, I, I'm, I'm staying as low as I can. To get Heroes as as are made can... thus. Heroes are Ooh. made thus. Well, otherwise, he's going to hold onto the wagon and pull us back, isn't he? Zero, zero, eight. <laughs> nice. Teddy's That's actually done something. So, roll D6. That's a critical yes, hit, sir. sir! Roll another weapon skill test right. see if you get additional What's damage. Good? But well done. What the hell's going on here? I know, right? The one time, right? 51 is not going to do it. That's fine. That's six. That's still pretty so impressive. So nine points of damage. Nine points of damage. All right, cool. This thing's already been hit as well. So nine, that's four points of damage. That's pretty. That's a pretty fucking good hit, dude. All right. Well, so you sort of slice his fingers so he lets go. All right, nice. You, you, you know, not you, aiming for body mass or anything. You attack the bull whipper. Um, and you actually do a, a good, nice cut to it, and you slash it straight across its hand. And it just goes, um, you feel fucking thing, and just tries to swipe at you and grabs you. Uh, so it's going to go for you next round. Um, but that was a good hit, sir. I think, round of applause from everybody. Was that, I think it's the first thing. Oh, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, cool. That was a good one. Nice one, dude. Um, so, and congrats. Um, Ziggy, uh, it is now your go, sir. You're in combat with, again, another two. Um, these penguins are now starting to pull everybody this way. This away. Um, so we'll just have to use our imagination because I really don't want to keep drawing this fucking thing. Um, so this wagon is now moving past you. I'm going to draw the little wagon next to you if that makes sense. Because um, that'll be easier than having to redraw it every five minutes. This is the wagon here, okay? So it's now pulling alongside you, um, kind of alongside you. So the, the war penguins are where they actually are. If that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. What are you going to do, Ziggy? Uh, hmm, I guess I'm just going to try and... Uh, I think I'm still in the same situation as if I run away from these guys I'm going to end up getting chopped so uh, I'll try and do a retreaty type thing I st I don't think I had my attack in the last go just saying again but um, really? Have we missed second, case, second, why don't you take the attack, attack. why don't you take the no, extra I, attack twice yeah, only if it's going to move the narrative forward yes please um, I just need time <laughs> <laughs> so you may take two uh, attacks no. five and then so that was my last goes attack and 56 both of which are misses okay. so I'm sort of retreating a little bit maybe this sort of way trying sure. to put my back to the war penguins so you are kind of actually more in fact I can move you on the actual things so you're actually like here-ish um, mm -hmm. and these two things are like here-ish now and Prancer I guess would be here-ish towards the back end towards where this ogre is okay so um, cool that's your go sir uh, next up is Ratigan. Uh, genuinely out of options here, apart from just swiping at the ogre with my staff. It's always um, an option. You can do that. Is there a fire to him? Have you got any other fire spell? Sometimes the no, simplest mate. thing is just to whack it. I'm, I'm not that powerful. I've got a load of them. Um, um, uh, hang on. Mm, has he got a... Uh, I suppose I could do this. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> I'm just check my like that, but more effective. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's a powered up that. Is what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> that with Mike. Set your, set your ferrets on him. Get your ferrets in front of his eyes. Chew his eyes out. Right. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, but instead, I'm gonna point at him. Fingers in. Yes. I point at him. Big <clears throat> grab. A serving pack of butter from my pocket. Yeah, you gonna butter uh, things in as he's clambering on. Okay, I dig it. I'm down with it. Okay, it's creative. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, rock and roll. Um, and I, I yell, "Oh, you better drop that, you bastard!" <laughs> nice. And um, a, a sort of, a, a sort of um, oily, oily miasma kind of wraps around his uh hands and feet as he's trying to climb onto the car okay nice okay cool okay so i gotta make a dex check right yes all right somebody definitely has a thing on. i never mind all right so that's a huge failure okay so this thing okay this thing, he basically he just reaches out for you and goes come here you little yumi and he just like slips like his the, the the magic hits his fingers he slips and whacks his jaw 
um, on the edge of the car and just bounces off and just rolls to a stop. Uh, Prancer at this point bows to the ogre and just very gently sweeps up and jumps on top of the side of the car and just stands there and goes, in the nick of time. And he's just standing there and his hair just catches the wind in a way that just you just go, wow, you're really good looking. You're, you're really good looking. You know? So he just does that and he leaps up on top of the car. Um, you just spoiled my ending for, for Prancer. I was going to kill him. I was totally going to kill him. Nah, he's and too pretty to die. You didn't really give me a convincing way to do that. He's too pretty to, to live. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so the, the ogre starts rolling away. And the car is now pe definitely picking up steam. Uh, despite Jim's best efforts, is actually it is actually moving. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you all see, at this point. You all. This is when like Clyde dies. You all see like Clyde being pierced by one of these ogres and then attacks. Then you see this like fight happening. Uh, Steve's character is now along the side of the cart. These two ogres. These orcs are now rampaging towards you. Um, but you kind of get the sense of like the tentative sense that maybe you're a bit too far away. That maybe this isn't gonna like you. You can get away after all. Like hope returns. Last thing to die, right, gentlemen? Um, okay, so it is now... I've lost track of where we are. Uh, where are we? It's right again. It's Bondo's go. Bondo. So you can make another speed check, like, to try and get these war penguins to, like, speed the fuck up if you want. Hopefully, hopefully. Mm -hmm. I can use a different set of dice. Those have been absolute turkeys. You can, so. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. But these will now be bad. 18. No, 18. 18, very good. Happy okay, days. so you sort of. Bondo is pleased. So, what do you say? How do you G the Yay. penguins up? How do you. What is the the thing that you've just made up on the spot that somehow the penguins know that's what that means? What do you say to them? Bechtan. What was that? <laughs> Bechtan. It means chip sandwich in Welsh. You're kidding. Ah. I love it. Well, how do you say that again? I know. Bechtan. Bechtan, which means chip sandwich in Welsh. <laughs> yep. Bring the more I you think, know. Jim, I think you might have just named the penguins chip and sandwich. Oh, no, no, chip no. sandwich. Bechtan and panad. That's it. A cup of tea and a chip sandwich. Nice. Yeah. Bechtan and panad. Okay. <laughs> so you, you say that and you like G them up. It's just basically gnomish for faster. And you, uh, you G them up and they just suddenly lurch forward. In fact, one of them bu bumps into this orc and sends it flying. It's not dead, but it definitely gets whacked out of the way and slams into these barrels over there and is effectively out of the fight. Um, Steve, this thing has lurched forward and is now moving kind of almost away from you. You're actually now here suddenly, and this orc is next to you. Um, I kind of think it's your second attack, but I kind of think you should probably, like, disengage or something. Grab on. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely make a grab attack onto the... You can grab onto the wagon, I would say. Okay. I will do that then. What do I? What am I rolling? My weapon you're going to make a strength or... chest actually, because it's like you're trying to. You can grab easily, but you need to hold on if that makes sense. Okay. All right. I'll do that thing then. Twenty-four. That's a twenty. All right. So you sort of grab on. You are swept off your feet as this thing just lurches forward and powers, and this orc takes a swipe at you and misses, and suddenly you're sort of you're dragged up by Prancer and uh, I guess Teddy if he's feeling kind. A vixen, why not vixen? And you're pulled into the cart, and this cart suddenly lurches away at great speed, and you can see behind you this horde just rampaging through, um, through the the wagon train, and this ogre stands up and screams into the night. You also see um, floating through the sky uh, a, f a strange figure, which you instantly recognise as being Veronica, and Veronica sort of lands next to the ogre. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of narrative that really you can't see because you're a bit too far away, but I think it's the benefit of the audience. Um, as your cart disappears over the hill and the scene of carnage and mayhem, uh, all of you take a, sigh, a, a, a brief sigh and repost, although you're still very much on edge, having only moments before um, left combat. The Dr. Dasher walks around and starts trying to treat everybody that needs immediate in, uh, medical attention, such as uh, Prancer and also um, Vixen, and I guess one of you lot who've sustained a bit of injury. Um, <laughs> Blitzen sits down on her, on her <laughs> rump. Well, that yeah. <laughs> well I spent time crafting them <laughs> as real three-dimensional people. <laughs> <laughs> Thief who yeah, just steal shit the all the time. <laughs> so yeah, Blitzen just like sits down, like collapses onto a rump again and leans against the side of the wagon and just goes, 
<sighs> like that. She only can't even say anything funny. It's just like exhausting. Um, you notice that Vixen just is like looking back at where the uh, the wagon train was, and there's a slow tear that's like like filling in her her uh, one of her eyes and is rolling down her cheek. But she's staying standing stoic and stalwart and just looking back out. Um, Prancer, Cheer up, love. at least you got your life left. Yeah, she sort of looks at you and just gives you like a tiny bit of a smile. At that point, one of the orcs, the orc on the floor wakes up underneath um, Teddy <laughs> and, Teddy, <laughs> and just roars uh, into life. Um, everybody make initiative tests. <laughs> Are you doing the classic thing of carrying on just at the point where it feels like we've actually reached yeah. an ending? Pretty much. Yeah, pass, passed. Oh, okay. Right. Um, as you pass up, you manage to step back and uh, you hear this BAM! And this thing just flies out the side of the car as Dr. Dasher is holding a smoking pistol. Um, like one of those like single shot, you know, bull and um, gunpowder pistols. And this thing just flies off at the back. And he just goes, and, uh, and blows the smoke out of the edge and nods to you. Um, that's a bit anticlimactic, wasn't it? Have you, have you got a real pistol there to blow? That was a very impressive pistol blowing into his hand. Was it a bottle? It's no, it's, not, it's just me. What did you blow into? Nothing. Oh wow! <laughs> that, right? There we go. That's, That's why I keep yes. telling Pete I've got an agent. Like this is a real thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Actually, I'm not like it's not like it's like a like a wish thing. I'm an actor, <laughs> like a real one, dude. You played He's a lot been of roles in films and TV shows. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. So yeah. One, it took six weeks to get there. <laughs> All right. It's too small. So as you as you uh, as you roll over the, the the going heading north straight into the 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 bleak mountain the black mountain sorry ahead, um, there is you have no supplies. Uh, you are only kitted out in whatever you're carrying. You're heading. It is. Um, I think we said it was spring summertime. So at least you're not going to have to deal too much with the cold. But you realize that you are in a very bleak situation. All of you look around at each other. Uh, suddenly the lost one's friends or just even mere acquaintances. And then the loss of Claus hits heavy on all of you. Um, as the wagon train trundles and rolls, the war, pe the war penguins oscillations. Oh, my God. The war pe penguins waddling oscillations. Uh, you all look to each other in that sort of universal commonality and, and, and think to yourselves, what do you do now? Uh, that's where we're going to end it. However, for our community, uh, we're going to flash back very quickly to the wagon train. And here, Veronica has landed and walks very slowly up to the, uh, looks very slowly up to the ogre. She then looks at him with a sense of disappointment and then walks towards the body of Sinterklaas, who she reverently um, touches the forehead of and kneels down next to the side of him. She lifts his head, turning him over. A single tear, well, sorry, more than a single tear, we would have had a single tear, several tears, <laughs> a number of tears, <laughs> well up and roll down her face. She softly, like, strokes his, his head and said, if only I'd got here sooner, my love, you would have seen the wisdom of my dark lord and joined me. And she looks up with this terrible, terrible malevolent glare at the retreating form of the wagon. They'll pay, my darling. They'll pay. And this glowing light just comes out of her hand and she places it on the face of Sinterklaas, moving it down to the chest where this huge cavity has been um, formed from the explosion. And his eyes just burn purple and he leaps forward and lurches up with this raging scream that's silent but conveying a lot of emotion from his face. Um, and that one cuts straight to black. And that's like the shitty way of ending it. Fucking hell, could have thought that better, but there you go. I'm tired. It's like it's past 11. Good. Deal with it. Yay! So the tutorial is yeah. over. Fucking hell, folks. Uh, training wheels are off. I am Hopefully spent. The advancements. Yeah. I am spent. We're not doing advancements because honestly, no, it's know. just I too mean, fucking late. Then, like, next. And thank you, everybody, for staying a bit longer. So, community, we are done. The Sinterklaas Massacre. Not just a clever title. Um, so there you go. Our heroes with their friends, the new friends, are weaning their way towards the Black Mountains um, with not naught but luck and a couple of war penguins to guide them through. What's going to happen? Don't know. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> next week, I believe we're taking... It, we're going to do, start doing this like bi, bi monthly, I believe. So we're going to be... Fortnightly. Stick to fortnightly. All right. Fortnightly. Bi month. Whatever. Nice. Yeah, bi you know. Sounds like once every two months. <laughs> yeah. You want to do this or one? Magazine. 
Oh, okay, once every two weeks, I think was the agreement. I think we st- I have that on record. I'm pretty sure I recorded the phone call. Every like, other week. Every, every other week. Same. So we're going to yes. be moving this to every other Sunday. Um, I have my my performance captured academy course to do next week. That's why I can't make it. But also we we decided we're going to try and space these out a little bit now that we've got a tutorial. Um, but don't worry, Sundays will probably be filled up with no big Neil stuff anyway because I'm a geek. I can't stay away from that stuff. So yeah, every other, so every two weeks it's going to be the Vagabond Chronicles. We do have a lot of community stuff set up. We are going to be posting some stuff about that with a, a Twitter account and all kind of stuff, and we'll let you know how it goes. But thank you very much for joining us. Huge thank you to our players. Hey, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, thank you us. to our tireless GM. You're yeah, welcome. You, you do make this so much I, fun. I'm so silly. I'm glad you're still alive in spite of rice cakes. Yeah. 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 That was fucked up, man. I almost died, man. That was, I, that was... Did, I was genuinely worried there. <laughs> so was I. I mean, it was like, it was a minute into choking that I went, I'm still choking. This is not funny anymore. This is actually like a thing now. I'm breathing in rice cakes. <laughs> um, keep going, Neil. Um, that would have been awful to have died on air, but I guess if you're an actor, that's kind of a way to go. I don't know. Tommy Cooper was over. It's a Tommy Cooper thing, isn't it? All right. So yeah. I'm glad I'm not dead either, because I've many things to do. Um, but thank you to our players. Award if you died of a rice cake. <laughs> <laughs> the viewing figures will probably be pretty good. Uh, <laughs> let's not think about it too much. All right, but thank you to our players. Thank you very much, as always, to Yogo. Uh, they are always the coolest mod around, and thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, Yogo. Today. Um, and of course without further ado thank you so much to the community uh, for being here and listening to our silliness we appreciate it and hey, just everybody. To you, Wait, we couldn't do it without you guys Indeed. just to remind you the twitter is vagabond uh, I'm going to get it wrong vagabond cron at vagabond cron at vagabond cron and we're going to send links to all the other community stuff through the twitter account so check it out um i will be linking to it as well just in case you can't find it um but without further ado does somebody want to do the thing the thing oh let me the oh. Oh, there it goes all our hard work and dreams and hopes into oblivion yay every <laughs> time all right folks stay well stay safe see you at the table in two weeks much love bye